Hello. How's everybody doing? Welcome in. First person I see is Miss B. Miss B, how you doing today? It's going to be a lovely day here at the Young's. Jeannie Young's going to show you all how easy it is to make smothered pork chops. We've done it before. It's time to do it again. Christy Fowler, Ronald T, Denise Billups, welcome in. Hello, guys. How are you? Hello. Holly, how you doing? Hello, Maddie Watts. Welcome. Lizette, hello. It's your favorite. Okay, well, that's great. You're going to have a ton of fun today. Andre, hello. Brenda Willis, Latika, how you doing? Christy Fowler, Secret Society, hello. Valencia Pickett, how you doing? Thank you for the thumbs up, LAS. Ron Wilson, howdy and aloha, hello. Your notification gang, Tooth Robinson, okay, welcome in. Royalty Queen, hey, Sonia. Sonia, how are you? I did see an email from you or a message. Um, I, I have to get to it. I just haven't had time to, to re really look at it, okay? Ethel Bailey, Margaret, Sharon, Darlene, Paula Jackson, Nancy, Informed Rain, hello, Kay, uh, Nene, how you doing? It's been a while for me. Okay, and it's good to be back. Well, welcome. Welcome back. I'm glad to have you back. Crock-Pot Queen, how you doing? Hello, everybody. Eula, Donna, Crystal, Chandler. Oh, you said, okay, Gina. Okay, okay. Yeah, and I'll actually, um, while I have some time, when I come back and sit down, you know, I'll pick up my phone and look at it, okay? Uh, Debbie Gibson, welcome. Valencia Pickett. Great. Linda Wallace, hello, hello. Martin Scott, dog man, how you doing? And everybody else, welcome in. If you realize you have not given a thumbs up, please give a thumbs up to the live. It's very important that you give a thumbs up to the live. I'm here to show you all a good time today. The least you can do is give me a thumbs up. That's the, that's the least you can do. I, I see all 156 of you and hardly anybody has given that thumbs up. Alaska family, KC, hello, Linda Gardner, Javette. Brenda, hello Gina, I made a pound cake with lemon glaze icing, strawberries, it was great and my family enjoyed it. Oh my goodness, that's exciting. Did you use my recipe? Did you use my recipe? That's what I want to know. Marlon, Marlon Witt, hello, Crystal Chandler, thank you. Thank you, Sonia, for welcoming everybody in, the current subscribers and the new subscriber. If you are a new subscriber, feel free to let me know, and I would love to welcome you in such a way. But if for some reason I don't see your name, I, I just bear with me, and the people in the background would love to welcome you. Hello, 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 thank you. Holly, how you doing? Hello. Darlene Cotman, sounds great. Smothered pork chop, plenty of onions. Okay, plenty of onions, gravy and rice for Darlene. Okay, so I'll be sure, grab me an onion out and give me a nice big one. <laughs> All right, so I'll put plenty of onions. We're gonna make a ton of gravy. And um, what else did you say? Oh, mushrooms too. I ain't got mushrooms today. So you just imagine that I'm putting mushrooms in it, okay? I used the mushrooms the other day when I did the recipe for my steak. I did steak, egg, and cheese, and I put mushrooms on top of that steak. Rosemary Pool, trying to find a thumbs up. Okay, Rosemary, you would have to back out of the live, and then you'll see the thumbs up, and then you come back into the live. Hopefully you're able to find it, but thank you for telling me that. Lisa Robertson, welcome. Turkey wings and you're new. Lisa, welcome. Thank you for coming in and joining today. Thank you for, you know, speaking up, saying that I knew that you're new. We welcome you here. Thanks for coming in and joining. That's your favorite food, Linda. Okay, well, this is great. This is great. Okay, so what we'll do... We'll wait maybe a good seven to eight minutes, give a few people some more time to come in. I know there's going to be others. So um, let's wait about seven, eight more minutes, and then I'm going to get up, get my apron on, hands washed. We are making smothered pork chops. So now 
for the people in the background that just don't eat pork or they don't like it. This same recipe can be used for chicken or turkey cutlets. You know, you might want to smother your chicken and you can smother your chicken in the same recipe that we'll be doing today, okay? All right, so now if you don't, when you're making smothered pork chops, if you don't want to use just white rice, you can use like a flavored rice. I know my husband wants uh, the chicken flavored rice, so I, I'm going to make that for him, but I still might boil some white rice on the side. We'll just see how I'm feeling. Eula, welcome in. Hello. Okay, Linda Gardner says yes. Okay, listen, I hope y'all are having a great day today. I really do. I hope you're having a most splendid day. Lottie, hello. Cook Woman says, I'm making pork tenderloin today. Can I thick slice and make your recipe? Sure you can. And you don't even have to, I wouldn't even make them thick. Make them about this, make them about, hold on, hold on guys. Let me answer this call one second. Hello? Okay, okay, I'm live right now. Let me give, it's okay, it's okay. You're, you're on the live right now. <laughs> I'm gonna give this phone to my husband and he can talk to you, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Thank you guys for bearing with me. That was a very important call, but you guys are even more important. So my husband's taking that call. Okay, okay, okay. Who's ready to rock and roll? Is there anybody? Renee, how you doing? Lynn Bill, hello. Okay, listen, is there anybody in this chat that is cooking with me? Anybody, 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 anybody cooking with me? What, how do I pronounce your name? Altrina Allen. Stockman, California, welcome. If you're cooking with me, the teamwork makes, teamwork makes the dream work. It does, you know, it's very true. And if you decide, listen, and if you decide to put God in your work, listen, it, it really works. <laughs> it really works. <laughs> That's teamwork. <laughs> God said, I ain't going to preach to y'all, but God did say, put me in your plans and your plans will succeed. And that's what I like to do in life, y'all. That's the teamwork. <laughs> and then the dream will work. <laughs> You'll be taking notes, Anya. Okay, okay. Oh, you're cooking with me. Okay, great. This is awesome. Cook woman. Before the phone rang, I wanted to tell you uh, for your pork, you can cut it about this thick. Okay? Don't cut it too thick. Okay? So cut it just regular size like it would be a pork chop. And then you're just going to be able to follow everything with me. I'm going to be teaching in detail so you can understand everything. Okay? All right. Let's get started. Anybody else cooking with me? Renee, you're good? That's amazing. Just one. Watching Charlene. Okay, absolutely. Okay, everybody, who's ready to rock and roll? Tell me you're ready to rock and roll, and I'm going to get up right now. I'm getting the microphones put in, and we're getting started. Christopher, how you doing? Welcome in. Happy, happy hump day. Happy Wednesday to you all. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Thanks for coming in and joining. We're getting ready to have a good time. We ready. Okay, that's all I need to hear. We ready. Everybody's ready. All right, I need to grab my apron out of the dryer. We're going to get the microphone so y'all can hear me well. Let me ask you a serious question on a serious note. So, I, you're really ready to rock and, okay, rock and watch. Okay, this is awesome. Sonia, I love you. Okay, listen, um, on a serious note, I have a fan going right now. Is the fan too loud? Be honest. Tell me if the fan's too loud because I am burning up. I feel like I'm in a rotisserie right now. 
I'm new to your channel. Uh, your name is Jessica Bird. Jessica Bird, welcome in. I'm new to your live, but I have uh, seen quite a few of your videos. I made your Thanksgiving ham. Your, your message keeps leaving. And it, uh, last year, and it was awesome. Well, welcome to my channel. I appreciate having you in here. I am Wendy, welcome in. No, it's not too loud, great. I need that fan or I'm going I feel like I'm going to melt away. I've been hot all day for some reason. Okay, so let's get started. That's enough rambling. Y'all, so you know we sent Dakota back to school. We sent Dakota back to school. How about if I told y'all he's sick? On Friday he got sick. I'm looking at him. I'm looking at him right now. And he got a mask on. He's sick. He ain't even been in school a good, what, two weeks? He's sick already. Oh my goodness. This, that's something to make, I know, Sonia, that's something to really make you pull your hair out. It's only been two weeks since school has been in session and he is walking around here sick. I've been giving him all kinds of medicine. He got Vicks up his nose, Vicks on his chest, but he is feeling better. So he's been at home doing virtual school. <laughs> I know. I'll turn the camera around here in a second. Okay, here goes the microphone, but I tell you what, I put a strong blessing up, up on Dakota, and I pray that sickness away, and I feel like that sickness is about to jump up out of this house, you hear me? I put a strong blessing up on that cold or that sickness. I said, be gone. <laughs> I did, I did, I did. And I know it'll be gone because he's beginning to feel a little bit better. All right, let's get the apron on. So now... For the people in the chat, I want you to write down great conversations. Hi, Mildred, how are you? Hi, Sylvia, thank you. Um, I want you all to write down great conversations that we can talk about. Um, like, after we, you know, after I cook, I come around here back in front of the camera and we sit and talk about everything under the sun. If you have something fun that we can talk about, a great conversation piece, so that we can keep the conversation going, it would be great. So if you have any ideas of fun things that you wanna talk about, great memories or whatever, write it down. And when I come around to talk when the food is just cooking or after we're eating, we can talk about all that stuff. But when the conversation dies down, I'm ready to get off of here. So let's write down some fun, great topics. And if, I, if something pops in my mind, I'm gonna grab a pencil and a piece of paper. I'm gonna write it down and then we'll talk about it, okay? All right, let's flip this camera around and get started. Cheryl, how are you? Hi, Cheryl. Jesus is the great physician, you bet. And I stand on that. And I know he will be healed in the name of Jesus. And I'm thanking him along the way, you know? Miss Karen, we are glad to see you. Thank you, Sonia. Okay, you said you got me? Okay, I got you too. Mildred, how you doing? Ron Wilson, how you doing, buddy? I appreciate you all coming in and joining me today. Charlene Bell, welcome, welcome. Terry, hello. I got that onion. Somebody said put lots and lots of onions in this recipe, and I'm going to do just that. And I'm going to make sure I make a ton of gravy. And I'm going to show you in detail how the gravy should be made, okay? So, um, I'm going to wipe down my computer real quick, and then um, I'll wash my hands, okay? I'm going to wash down the keys. Okay. 
Uh-oh, I lost the whole, I lost the whole lot. Here, wipe your hands. Here, wipe that. Okay, everybody, let me get my hands nice and clean. So, alongside of our pork chops today, I'm going to be making just some rice and some green beans. Green beans is going to go perfect with um, these smothered pork chops. And then I'll tell you all a funny story. I'll tell you a funny story about how my Instacart shopping went today. It, it was kind of nuts. Okay, so for the person that's cooking with me, oh, too many for you to catch up and say hello, Ron, well, hello. Thank you always for coming in. Okay, so I got some spices. We got salt. We got pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and I'm gonna get some paprika. All right, perfect. All right, I'm gonna put my rice over this way. And we'll do the green beans last. husband loves green beans. He'll take green beans every day of the week if I let him. <laughs> he would. I'll say, honey, what kind of vegetable you want? Green beans. The next day I'll say, baby, what kind of vegetable? Green beans. <laughs> and I'm okay with it because I like green beans too. Okay. My hands are impeccably clean. First thing that I want to talk about. If you are making pork chops, it's very, very, turn that fan this way. It's very, very important that, have you ever, let's just talk about this real quick. Have you ever made a pork chop and when frying your pork chop, your pork chop didn't lay flat in the pan, it kind of went whoop, you know, like the bologna will do when you try to fry it? Problem solved. Let me tell you what I like to do. Because the pork chop has fat around the outer edge, that fat, when it begins to cook, well, it gets kind of, um, it'll shrink up. And when it shrinks up like this, it'll make your pork chop go up like that versus laying flat. So how do you fix it, Gina? Because that always happens to me. Well, you take that fat, if the camera can come in, and right where the fat is, you cut it. Is it going to make my pork chop look funny, Gina? Nope, and that's a promise. But you cut that, and that won't happen to you. Your pork chops will not get kind of funky looking on you, okay? So on this one, I'm cutting it right there, and then I'm going to cut it right here. Okay, so we have no shrinkage of the fat, okay? So I'm going to do that. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, if you don't mind your pork chop doing that when it fries, okay? So if you have a pork chop like this that doesn't have the fat, you can just skip that part, okay? Right there, there's the fat. Put a nice slit in it, okay? You can't mess it up, all right? I'm gonna wash my hands because what we're gonna do next is we're gonna season. And if I were to touch my seasonings right now, I would be transferring bacteria from my hands to the seasoning. So you wash your hands and then you can proceed with your seasonings. Even if I were to touch the handle of this pan, I would be putting bacteria on it. So anytime you have to touch raw meats, wash your hands, keep your family safe, okay? It's, hey, I love to teach people. I do. Okay, I see that the line is just turning. Let me see what's happening. It doesn't um, go up like this when cooking it. 
it will remain uh, flat, okay? Even though it has the fat. That makes a lot of sense. It's actually a great question. So let's season and don't you be afraid to season, okay? So <clears throat> we're gonna use salt, pepper, garlic powder, uh, black pepper and paprika, or use your favorite seasonings. But don't be afraid to season, okay? Here we go. This is garlic powder, and boy, it smells good. Black pepper. You're welcome, Ron. You're welcome. Guys, so my plan is for the Healthy Channel. My plan is to, I need some more pepper. My plan is to do a video for the Healthy Channel every day. That's my plan from here on out. If for some reason I just can't, then I won't, right? But my plan from here on out, I'm throwing those videos at you every single day. For right now, it'll be one video a day on the Healthy Channel. And somebody, if you're in this chat and you don't know what my Healthy Channel name is, it is in the kitchen, or I'm sorry, <laughs> it is Healthy Recipes with Gina. Okay, Healthy Recipes with Gina is my new channel name and so we got a healthy channel going and then we have this channel okay so i'm super super excited about putting these videos out so today i made a video for you all on over on that channel showing you how to make uh, cabbage rolls listen when i made the cabbage rolls they were absolutely amazing the cabbage rolls are gone the cabbage rolls are gone i made them this afternoon and now they're gone so that's how good they are all right, let's flip them over, and since we've washed our hands, let's uh, just use a fork to flip them, okay? Now, you have an option to rub mustard on here. You can do it, or you don't have to. If you rub mustard on here, don't be so rough with the mustard. Don't use too much, because we don't want you to rub off your beautiful seasonings that you took the time to season, okay? I think I'm going to use some mustard today. Is it going to give it a mustard flavor? Nope. I promise you it's going to give it an umami factor. Make them say umami. <laughs> it will. It'll make them say, oh, mommy, where she get this recipe from? You're going to tell them, Judy Young. You will. You're going to tell them. Let me look at some comments and see how you guys are doing. They said, could you make the gravy now and just cook the... Sure. Okay, so what I'm going to do, can you make the gravy now? Absolutely you can. A lot of people like to uh, use the, the pan drippings for your gravy, but Gina Young is here to tell you, you don't have to use the pan drippings if you don't want to. That's old school. It'll give you great flavor, but the gravy that I'm gonna show you how to do, you don't have to use the pan drip drippings, and I'll prove it to you today, okay? They, they said, can you make the gravy first and then just cook the pork chops raw and the gravy? Oh, somebody says, can you make the gravy first and cook the pork chops raw in the gravy? What a great question. Okay, so for that person asking me that, um, I have to answer you and say, yes, you can. <laughs> okay, it's something that I wouldn't do. I wouldn't do it. I don't know why I wouldn't do it, <laughs> just to be honest. But you can do it. It would turn out successful. Your pork chops would turn out nice and juicy, okay? And you're just going to have to cook it on low. So because the time that it's going to take for your pork chops to get tender in that gravy, uh, I need you to turn it on low and put a lid on. And every once in a while, you check it because you're gonna be checking, <clears throat> excuse me, the bottom of your pan, making sure that the gravy doesn't burn, unless you put it into a crock pot. So my answer is yes, you can do it. I've never done it, it would be successful. Okay, just cook it until your pork chops are nice and tender. Okay, so great question. I didn't put salt on the other side, I don't believe, did I? Not sure if I did or not, so I'll just put a nice amount on this side, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. Since I want to use the mustard, I'm gonna put it on. I'm not gonna get too wild with it because I don't wanna rub off the beautiful seasonings that I put on. Watch how much. 
Can the camera zoom in on me real quick? Don't let no flies in, please. Okay, great. Now watch this. I, I, I'm going to rub gently that beautiful mustard. Mustard will tenderize the pork chop, and it'll give such a great flavor and a beautiful color to your fried pork chops, and that's a guarantee. Okay? But you don't have to do this, okay? It, it, it's it's kind of, you know, if you want to, you can. If you don't want to, that's fine. Both recipes will turn out good. See how much? Not a whole lot. Okay, let's flip it over, and then let's get mustard on this side. This makes it nice and tender, okay? I'm going to look at some mess and just see how everybody's doing. You guys doing okay? I'm going to use this hand that doesn't have the raw meat. Okay, and then I'm gonna use this hand to, what you call it? Hi, Big Frank, you haven't been in the chat for a while. How you doing today? All right. There we go, perfect. I'm so happy with this. So now, when frying your pork chop, we are going to uh, dredge it in flour. This flour does not have cornmeal in it. This flour does not have cornstarch in it. You can use self-rising or all-purpose. I'm using an all-purpose flour today, and uh, I'll wash my hands real quick, and I'm gonna show you how to dredge it, okay? They said, can you put mustard on first, or does it not matter? Huh? Can you put mustard on the meat first, or does it not matter? You can put mustard on first, and then put your seasonings on. Uh, the mustard will help for your seasonings to adhere to the pork chop. So either way you do it. The mustard can go first. You don't have to use the mustard. Or it can go last. Okay? Let me wash my hands. Uh, am I using center cut pork chops? Center cut pork chops is the kind that I'm not a fan of. I like the pork chop like this. That has the bone and it has good marbling and fat going through it. I'm not a fan of the center cut pork chop. So when I think of the pork chop, the center cut pork chop is like this one. I got to sort it. Okay? This is a center cut pork chop. Oh, hold on. Where, where, where is it? Uh, no, I don't have any. I have all sorted. A center cut pork chop doesn't have much fat, and it doesn't have a bone. So if you have loved ones around your house that's not a fan of the bone, they're not a fan of the fat center cuts for you. I like the fat, and I like the bone, so I always get a sorted. Okay, my holy king, welcome in. Mary Graham, hello. Gina is using a sorted. Thank you, Sonia. All right, guys. So watch this. Check me, check me, check me out. Okay. The pork chops that we're going to fry is the only ones that I'll be dredging right now. I want to show you the size pan that I'm going to be using. <laughs> this is a 14 inch pan. And let me show you the oil that I'm using. It's not a ton, but you must go ahead and start getting your pan hot. Put your pan on a medium, a little over medium, almost to where you're at medium high. I never suggest frying a pork chop and yank it up on hot because it'll be done on the outside. It'll get really, really golden brown. The inside will be raw. Okay, so I suggest medium. Medium high is the heat that we're looking for. Let's just say you have a ton of pork chops and you need to do a couple batches. Well, um, I'm only going to dredge the pork chops that I can fit in my pan right now because what I don't like to do is dredge my pork chops too early. When you dredge the pork chops too early, they're gonna get kinda gummy. The flour on them gets wet and gummy and it don't fry up right, okay? So let's dredge what I can fit in a pan. Looks like I can fit maybe three or four in, okay? So let's get them nice and dredged. Come on in, I'm gonna show you how I do it. It's simple, okay? Just a nice dredge. Just like so, and then I'll look at some messages and see how everybody's doing. If you use baking flour or all-purpose flour, does it make a difference when fry, frying? Uh, you said that's a great tip. Thank you, Miss Karen, huh? If you use all-purpose flour or baking flour, does it make a difference? Baking flour. Um, if, you, if you just have baking flour, it'll work. It'll work. 
work, I promise you, it'll be okay, okay? So baking flour is fine as long as it, it doesn't have sugar in it, right? Uh, your baking flour will be fine. It, it won't make a difference, okay? But if you're baking flour, I don't believe baking flour has sugar in it. Uh, you should be uh, really good, okay? So let's plan to dredge just three, okay? Perfect, I wanna set these aside. And then if I can fit another one in my pan, that's going to be the only time that I'm going to dredge it. I don't want this to sit there and get, excuse me, wet and gummy. Okay? So what we're going to do when checking on our oil to see if our oil is hot enough. Okay? We're going to take flour between our fingertips and do like this. Drop it into the pan of oil. If your oil sizzles. And this, when it goes going to do like that, you're going to see it sizzle and bubble, you know that your oil's hot enough. But let's just say we put the flour into the oil like this, okay? And you watch the flour just go to the bottom and just sit to the bottom. Your oil's not hot enough. Don't put nothing in until when you do like this and put that flour in, it sizzles, you know you got the right temperature, okay? So my oil is heating up. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to start my pan for my husband's rice and roni. Once we get the pork chops going, I'm going to go ahead and show you all how easy it is to make the gravy. And I'm not going to be using the, uh, the pan drippings. I'm going to make a gravy from scratch right in the pan. Okay, we're going to make a whole lot because I really like to submerge my pork chops in a lot of gravy, okay? So, we're going to use some chicken bouillon powder to give our gravy some good flavor. Talk about good flavor. Let's just say you don't have chicken bouillon powder. You can use the ramen noodle seasoning packets. Use two of them. Put it in your gravy. It makes for some of the best gravy, okay? All right, let me see. Carol 15, welcome in. How are you? Hello. Yes, I always do scratch gravy myself. Okay, that's great. And you know what? Even, here's the thing. Carol 15, if you're new, welcome. Um, if you want, let, let, let's, I just have to put this out there. If you wanted to use a gravy that comes from the jar, I can honestly say that some of them out there are delicious. I can say that. Some of the gravies that are pre-made or they come in the package, they can be delicious. If you want to use something like that, by all means you can, okay? Okay, I just want to throw that out there. I'm going to need another paper towel. Okay, so 
let's get started. My oil's still heating up. It's just not ready yet, okay? Let me show you how much oil we're going to use for our pan for our gravy. I'm going to get a big pan because I want a whole lot of gravy, okay? So let me grab a different pan. I'm going to show you all a very easy technique for making gravy. And this is a way that my dad taught me how to make gravy. I was nine years old. And my dad taught me how to make this gravy and I never forgot it. It's actually kind of fun to make gravy this way. Okay, so you all will get to see in detail. When making a gravy, this is very important. When making a gravy, you use equal parts oil, equal parts flour, and then you put your liquid in and voila, okay? Voila, you're gonna have gravy. Today I'm gonna be using chicken broth, but you do not have to use chicken broth. You can use water, okay? You can use water when making a gravy. It does not have to be chicken broth because if you have seasonings, you can make it taste good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some oil into my pan. Come on in. And I want to heat my oil up. Heating the oil up first is going to help you along the way um, when making the gravy, okay? Let's see if this oil is hot. If you guys can follow me um, to this stove behind me. If the oil is hot, we can put our pork chops in. I feel like the oil is hot. Okay, so the person cooking with me, I want you to... Uh, check your oil. Look at this sizzle. Come on, come on in. You see that sizzle? It sizzled and I'm happy with that. See that? I'll do it again. Sizzle. Okay? That's what we're looking for. So now, take our pork chops. Come on in on the pork chop real quick. Shake that baby off. Shake it. Shake, 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 shake it. Shake it. Shake, shake it. Shake it. Okay? <laughs> Into your pan. All right? Shake it. Just like so, we want to get it nice, beautiful, and golden brown. But let's talk about something, y'all, on a serious note. You do not have to fully cook these pork chops. Guess why? Because these are going to simmer so long in the gravy, they'll continue to cook in the gravy, okay? So, what we're looking for when we cook them right now it's just the golden brown color onto both sides. Don't worry about the inside being done because when it goes in the gravy and it simmers, it will continue to cook. Okay? Gina, are you kidding me? Heck no, I ain't kidding you. That's how I always do it. So come on in, take a look at our pan. Beautiful. Okay? We got a medium heat going on. And I got some rice in my pan here that I'm cooking up for my husband. All right, so we'll want to get that golden brown and get the water going in it, okay? We're moving in the right direction, guys. How easy. And, 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 and then, so our pork chops, uh, it looks like I was able to get four in the pan, and then I'm left with two that I'll have to fry you know, after those come out the pan, I'm okay with that, right? Okay, so we got our chops going. You don't have to worry about burning them because you don't have the heat up too high, right? So now, let's go ahead, get, get you some flour, okay? I want to ask the person that's cooking with me, am I moving too fast or are you with me? How you doing? Thank you, my holy king. Yes, Miss Karen Smother pork chops is on the menu. All right, so now, what do we need to do right now to make the gravy? We're gonna put flour into your oil, and then we're gonna put water or your broth or water and broth, okay? 
It can be just complete water if you don't have broth, okay? So let's put some flour in right now. Okay? Hold on, guys. I poured a little too much out. But it's okay. That's why I, I tell y'all, don't freak out. Nothing is worth freaking out, okay? Nothing is worth freaking out, okay? So we're going to put that right in the bag. How about that, okay? And so we're going to incorporate our flour into the oil, okay? We do not at any time want this to look like plaster. If yours looks like plaster, I need you to put a little bit more oil in, okay? So now, what consistency should it be, Gina? Well, I'm going to show you right now, okay? I have the secret to a homemade gravy that you will love. They said can you do the same thing with cornstarch? He you cook, um, uh, no, cornstarch is different. You're not gonna use this much cornstarch for your gravy. You would only use a couple tablespoons of cornstarch and you would be putting it into a liquid. This is a roux based, um, this is a roux based gravy. If you're making a gravy using cornstarch, you can check out my video for how to make gravy using cornstarch. Okay, so look at the consistency. Can you all see? Gina, it looks so smooth. Absolutely. It looks as if it's peanut butter, you know? It's really nice and smooth. And what I want you to do from this moment on is continue to let it cook just for a few minutes. And what we're looking to do is we are looking to cook off the flour flavor. We don't want to have a raw flour flavor. So how do you cook off the raw flour flavor? Well, how you do that is you just cook this for a few minutes. It will get a little bit darker and then you know you're moving in the right direction. Okay, so Gina, what would the next step be? Okay, so the next step would be um, stir that for a while. Don't have it up on high. Let's go ahead and cut or onions since we plan on putting onions in here. If you don't want to use onions, you don't have to, okay? But I want to put some onion in there because onion should be in your recipe, okay? The person in the chat said, Gina, a ton of onions. <laughs> so I got a really big onion here, okay? And all I do, I'm going to slice it. Come on in on this onion, okay? Nothing too fancy. Right? And I'll tell you, no, don't worry, because I'll tell you the perfect time to put these onions in, okay? But I do want to get them away from me. Because I tell you what, I don't want to go off crying about these onions right now. Not today. Today's not the day to cry about these onions. So I'm going to push them far away. Back. I'm putting them back there. I'm going to have to make him some more rice and roni. Put that. Make up another pot for him, okay? But it's okay, we're live and things can happen. It can. That's how you like them nice and visible. Okay, okay, okay. That's great. That is great. All right, perfect. So now I'm going to show you this here in a second. So we got the onions cut. Keep an eye on your pork chops, okay? They're cooking up just beautifully. Okay, so now, what I want you to do, grab all the seasonings that you use for your pork chops, bring them near you so you can season this up. But we're not gonna really season it right now. What we are getting ready to do is um, put our water in. We have cooked off the, that raw flour flavor. Okay, it only needs to cook off for about three to four minutes, right? And so now what we're going to do, I want to bring this this way and then you guys can really see what's happening. And I'll have the cameraman zoom down in here, okay? 
Labor Day was amazing. Oh my goodness. Turn that fan on. What'd you do with it? And where? All the way back. All the way back? Okay, here. Turn that fan back on for me. Getting kind of hot in here. Listen, when Jeannie Young gets started in this kitchen, it gets hot in this kitchen. You hear me? All right, so now, the pork chops are going. You keep an eye on them. If at any time you feel like they're golden brown, well, you flip them over, okay? Like I said, we're not aiming to fully cook them right now, okay? Thank you. Turn it. Let's see. I'll tell you if I can feel them. Turn it this way. Perfect. Okay, y'all. So now, come on in. Put your liquid in. I'm putting broth in. And then I'm also going to use some water. So when you're pouring in, my dad would tell me when I was little. He would say, okay, Nina, what you want to do? You want to pour the liquid or do you want to stir? And I would always say one or the other. I want to stir today. <laughs> or I want to pour the liquid in. You know, he gave me a choice. They said, can you use red onion? You can use red onion. Red onion would be great. Okay. So now let's get your liquid in. How do I know how much to put in? You will definitely know. Okay, so we're going to put it back onto the burner. And then we're looking for a gravy consistency. Can you come in so they can see? We're looking for a gravy consistency. In the beginning when putting your liquid in, it may at one point look like, uh-oh, it got kind of thin, Gina. You're okay. You're moving in the right direction because it will thicken back up. So what we need to do, let's make our gravy. you got to season it. you got to make it taste good, okay? So we're going to put some parsley flakes in. That makes it pretty. Paprika. Onion and garlic powder. Great flavor there. A little bit of black pepper if you have any. Salt. I'm putting a little bit of salt because I want my flavor to come from the chicken powder, okay? Great. Chicken powder. Season to taste. How much do you want to use, okay? So, and then you'll taste it, okay? What I like to do right now is put my onions in. Oh, oh yeah. We're gonna put some onions in. Get those, get that onion flavor into the gravy, okay? They Come on in. They said, can you uh, make the gravy cheesy? Make your gravy cheesy? Um, I wouldn't suggest making the gravy cheesy, so I would say no to that, but when it's done, if you want to put cheese on top of your smothered pork chops and your gravy, then by all means you can, okay? Have fun with the recipe. You can see how it is kind of thick, but Gina, it's light. Okay, so we're gonna talk about that and I'm gonna show you how you can fix that light color, okay? But let's go check on our pork chops and see if they need to be turned, okay? Let's check on them. Remind me to recook my husband's pork, uh, uh, I mean his rice, because I got it a little too dark. Oh, oh, oh my, my, Gina. <laughs> what nice pork chops you have. <laughs> oh, wee, somebody's excited. I don't blame you. You should be excited. This one here, it's not as dark as I would wish it to be, but guess what? It's okay. Okay, so since I know that these are going to be coming out very soon, come on in real quick. I'm going to take these and go ahead and dredge them. Why not? Because we know those are coming out very soon. Dredge them and give them a nice shakety, shakety, shake, shake, shake. Okay, I hope you're having a great day. Welcome in if you're just now coming in. Welcome in to all of the new subscribers and the current subscribers. I love each and every one of you with all my heart. Okay, so now at this point, you have gravy that you have made. You should have your onions in it if you've decided to put onions in it. Okay, I got some hands that I need to wash off. I want you to look at the texture of my gravy. Remember I told you after putting the liquid in how it would naturally thicken back up? It did. And what do we have? Tina, you've got a gravy consistency. Right, we do. So now what I want to do, I'm going to wash my hands and then we'll talk about 
help make this gravy dark, or you can eat the gravy this way, this color, but there, and most people like their gravy darker. If you want it to be darker, soy sauce, that's what my dad used to use. But nowadays they have something called kitchen bouquet. And what kitchen bouquet will do is it will darken up your gravy without giving it a flavor. So I have some in my cupboard and after I wash my hands, I'm gonna show you how it works and how it can turn your gravy from light to dark. But don't worry about this being fla uh, flavorless because it's very flavorful. It just doesn't have that dark color. They said if you use soy sauce, can you skip the salt? Yes, if you use soy sauce, you can skip the salt. Whoever had that comment, you, um, you are absolutely right. And that's such a great comment. And the reason why is because soy sauce, as we know it to be, has salt in it. So soy sauce can eliminate the salt that you put in your recipe. Okay? So now let's grab the kitchen bouquet because somebody's curious. Where are you if I were looking for you? Uh, where are you? There you are. You're back there. It smells good in here. This is what kitchen bouquet is. I should have put this in the um, comment section uh, of my post, but I didn't and I do apologize. But just trust me when I tell you that this gravy this way will be delicious. This doesn't give any flavor, it just makes it dark, okay? So now, if you were to use your pan drippings from the pork chops being cooked, the pan drippings, you know how it's dark, it will make your uh, gravy dark naturally from those pan drippings. So come on in and let me show you what we got going on. Look at took it, okay? This is kitchen bouquet and it's really, really dark. No flavor, but it gives that dark color. Come on, oh, Gina, are you kidding me? Heck no, I'm not kidding you. So remember I told you the gravy would naturally thicken up? Well, it's thickening up on me. So what do you wanna do, Gina, if it begins to thicken up a little more than what I wanted it to do? Well, you're gonna add more liquid, okay? And so what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm going to add some more liquid. I have some chicken broth. You can add more water if you want, okay? So when you're making the gravy, you see how I stopped at, 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 at a certain moment when I thought it was a little too thin, but I told you no worries because it would thicken. Well, there, there we are. It thickened and I'm putting more liquid. And as this cooks and simmers, it will keep thickening. And as it keeps thickening, you keep adding liquid, okay? Whether it's broth or water. And as you add uh, more liquid, you re-season to, um, because when you put more liquid, you kind of dim out those seasonings. Okay, so at some point, we're gonna go in and taste it and see what seasonings we may need, okay? All right, everybody, Gina, can you make this gravy for gumbo? Absolutely you can. But when you're making a gravy for gumbo, your gravy, your roux, when we made the oil in the flour, you cook it until it gets really, really dark. I mean, it gets like a mahogany dark color, right? And it's a, such an amazing, rich flavor. It's different because you see how we didn't get our flour real dark today? But when making a gumbo, and if you check out my video for how to make gumbo, you'll see that when we made that roux, when we mixed the oil and the flour, we may have cooked that roux for over a half an hour just to get it nice and dark, to get that rich flavor that you need for gumbo. Okay, so that's a great question. Great question. Okay, you said you put that way, way back, way, 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 all the way back, back, back. Okay, so we're, wash that so I can make uh, some rice. Let me see if I have a little bit of Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm looking for something in 
my pen to it to see if I had another one of those rice or something that was still on it. But it's okay, because we'll make another rice. Okay, so I want you all to take a look. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Take a look in the gravy. I want you all to see my onions are breaking up like I wanted them to. I wanted them to break up. Okay, looking good. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I I'll taste that. So now, at any point, you can taste your gravy. Check the, check the consistency. You don't want it to be too, too thick. You don't want it to be too thin. You want it to coat that spoon. Let's taste it together. I know it's going to be good. Uh, um, they mm -hmm. said does flour and water work as a root too? No. Flour and water does not work as a root. Flour and oil. Or flour and water. A roux is made from equal parts flour, equal parts fat. And the fat can be butter or the fat can be oil. That tastes good. Remember, these pork chops are not fully cooked, but I don't care because they're going to fully cook in my gravy, okay? Look at that. Oh, my goodness, Gina. Okay? So now we're going to take our pork chops. This can come together really quickly. Having patience and just knowing how to do the recipe will help you. All right, we're going to do these. Oh, you get nice and crispy. Okay. And so while um, while my gravy cooks, okay, and the pork chops are cooking in the gravy, when I have time, I'll make my husband's rice. So, because I don't want to make it too dark. I don't want it to get too dark. It got a little too dark, and so I just tossed it out. So uh, what I'll do this time, when I have, when I'm not so busy, I'll put this on the stove so I can keep a good eye on it, okay? We're moving in the right direction. Any serious questions, I will answer. Um, Go ahead and ask me your questions right now while I'm not super busy, and I'll see what you guys have to say. Joyce, hello. If I had that pot, I named her Big Bertha. You can cook a lot. You can cook a lot of good stuff. And listen, what's your name? Renee. Renee. Renee Hall. Renee, I absolutely, Big Bertha, that's kind of funny. I love, love, love this pot. This is a flat bottom uh, aluminum, what, well, let's see. This is a flat bottom wok, a stainless steel that I absolutely love. I cook so many things in it. I don't just do stir fries in it. I make gravies, I make stews, you know, I make all kinds of stuff in here. This is by far one of my favorite pots. My dad purchased this for me um, 14 years ago through um, a, uh, the name brand of the pot set was, uh, what, what was it? My goodness, if I can't, Wolfgang Puck Collection. I don't think they sell it anymore, but if you're on Amazon, you can look for a large stainless steel flat bottom wok. This is and it can be your Big Bertha. <laughs> Gina, I made your gravy before I used it with beef. Oh, yes. Mildred, absolutely. Beef broth, vegetable broth, water. 
And it is. It's going to be great. It's going to be delicious, right? Absolutely it will. So the gravy's turning out just beautiful. So now what we can do right now, if the camera can come in, I'm going to go ahead. I know this recipe comes together so quick and simply. Simply. I don't know if simply is the word, but let's nestle our pork chops in the gravy. Look at that. Oh, get in there, baby. <laughs> Just like so. Okay? Beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> yes, you are. Look at you. Get in there. Mm. This is what you want. Look at that pork. Look at the pork chop. Somebody say yes, amen, yes to the recipe. Okay? So, I like when, when um, smothering your pork chops. I'm going to have to find the lid for this. If you can't find the lid, just use foil. Okay? We're going to cover it. Let that baby simmer on low. And when these ones here are done, then we'll just throw them right on top and let it simmer for a while. They get so nice and tender. They continue to cook all the way through to the inside and they fall off the bone. And when you go to eat them, your grandma with no teeth will be happy to eat this. I'm so serious. I mean, it's going to be that tender. It's going to be that tender, soft, supple, and delicious. If at any time you go in and cut, come in real quick. If at any time you go in and you stir this, and then you feel like um, the bottom is sticky, that means you have your heat up way too hot. Turn it down low and let's cover it, okay? I'm gonna put this back over there so we can, um, you know, drain them when they're done because we don't want all that extra oil in our recipe. And then I'll make up some, uh, I'll make up the rice. You gotta, you gotta address this. I'll, I'll make up the rice and I'll also make some green beans. Now my green beans are super simple. Let me grab my uh, can opener and I'll show you how I make it. So I got three cans of green beans. And for my green beans, I'm only going to be using butter, chicken powder, and a little bit of black pepper, and that's it. Are you kidding me, Gina? No meat, no meat is necessary. Chicken powder, butter, a little bit of pepper. These green beans will be absolutely amazing, okay? And that way we can get our vegetables in, right? Okay, make sure when you're simmering these that they're simmering on low so your uh, gravy does not burn at the bottom. Keep stirring them and checking in on them. Put a lid on them. I plan on grabbing a lid here in just a second so that they can really, you know, kind of steam while they're simmering. Okay? Purple Love, how you doing? Welcome in. Hey, we're moving in the right direction. Uh-oh. I unplugged the wrong thing. They, they said it's goulash and gumbo the same thing. Goulash and gumbo is not the same thing. Goulash and gumbo is completely different. Um, but I understand where you're coming from. It, it's completely different recipes. I do have, I think I have a recipe for goulash, don't quote me. Um, and then I have a recipe for gumbo and you can feel free to check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna put my chicken powder in and we'll put some butter. All we gotta do is heat these babies. They, they said can tiramisu be baked? I can't hear you. Can tiramisu be baked? Tiramisu, can it be baked? You shouldn't have to bake tiramisu. Uh, you should never have to bake tiramisu.
thought I'd show you what's going on over here in the pan right now. Lovely goodness, nice beautiful golden brown color, nice juicy pork chops. Remember, we're not aiming to fully cook them right now. We're aiming to just get that golden brown color, okay? And then after we get that color on both sides, then it can go into the gravy to simmer, okay? A lot of people uh, like to say that I cook really fast. I can understand if you're one of those people that think that I cook really fast. I can understand where you're coming from. They said, have you ever made Wagyu? They said what? Have you ever made Wagyu? Wagyu? Wagyu. Wagyu? Wagyu beef? You know what? I don't buy Wagyu beef because it is so super um, expensive. So, I, honestly, I don't know much about Wagyu. So, that's the only answer that I can give you about the Wagyu. Because it's so super expensive. I don't buy it. The most expensive uh, steak that I'll buy is a ribeye steak, and that's about as, as expensive as, as I really like to go, you know? But um, I haven't really experienced much with Wagyu beef. Before coming on here, you gave me that energy, and therefore I am so grateful 
and thankful. I am thankful because I, you guys, I didn't have a lot of energy when I came on here. But the good Lord helped me, and I'm so grateful. So take our chop. Look at the chop. <laughs> Get in there. Oh, come on. Can the camera come in real quick and just show the people what we got going on? My goodness, look at that. Who wants that right now? I know you do. I know you do. If at any time your gravy gets too thick, just pour some water in. Come on, guys. Look. Oh, Gina, you are making me super, super duper excited. You should be. I'm going to taste the gravy, y'all. Mm. Mm. What flavor do you have? Good flavor. And I may need to season it a little later. We'll see. But as of right now, I don't feel like I need to season it. It doesn't need any more flavor. Okay. Let me check in. I need to check in on my rice, guys. Put this on. Let it simmer. Smothered pork chops are almost up. So now, remember, I talked earlier about making the gravy. Let's just say you're a person that you have all day, <laughs> right? You have a lot of time on your hands. If you wanted to use, come, come on in with the camera, but not too close because I don't want that steam in the camera. If you wanted to use this oil to make your gravy, then absolutely you can. And that way you'll have an automatic dark gravy because you see how that oil is nice and dark your gravy will automatically be nice and dark okay and it will have a great flavor but if you don't have time and you want to go ahead and get the gravy done and made out the way you can do it like i did or you can put your flour in here after you're done frying your chops make your gravy in here okay a lot of people do it that way i'm just not going to do it because i don't have all the time in the world <laughs> Right, I was ready to get that gravy done and out the way, okay? So hopefully you can understand, but I also want you to understand that the gravy can be made using all that lovely goodness, okay? It can. Jiffy cornbread. 
it made for my husband. Um, and I like to put a little bit of sugar, some eggs, and some milk. I'm going to put it in a pan and throw it in the oven on 350 until it's done. Okay? Donna Marie in the building, how you doing? Christopher, I'm on my way to pick you up. I'll be in the blue car today. <laughs> the red car has a flat. Kicking it with Donna, hello. Sonia, where are you guys going? <laughs> Tell me where you're going so I can go with you. <laughs> Tell me where you're heading to. <laughs> Hold on, give me a second. Some more comments. I need to know where you guys are going. <laughs> Am I included? Am I going on this trip with you all? <laughs> I'm putting a little bit of sugar in. Not a lot, just a little bit. And since I'm using two egg, um, two boxes of the cornmeal mix, I'm using two eggs. Let's get a little bit of foil out. When I make my rice and roni, 
I put foil on it and then I put a lid on it to make sure that I have a nice secure closure because I just want the rice to turn out right, you know? And uh, this lid that I have, it has holes in it. So it allows steam to escape and I don't want that to happen. So I just use it underneath the lid. Oh 
Oh my goodness, okay. I'm stirring it around just a little bit. Oh, you love collard greens? Okay. Gina, I have some smoked turkey wings. If you're gonna make some greens, Saturday I'm ready. Okay, I'll be using smoked turkey as well. Okay, and when we sit down, if you want to, um, if you guys ask me when I sit down to come around and talk, we can talk about the um, ingredients that you'll need so you can cook greens with me this Saturday, okay? We can talk all about it, okay? And you can just grab a pencil. I'll tell you what you're going to need. I'm just cleaning up a little bit. Now's the perfect time. If you're cooking with me, to clean up as you go. Clean up, you'll be less stressed. You'll be stress-free. Thank you, Lord, once again for the energy that you have given me today. I am so grateful. I'm thankful, Lord, and I sure appreciate you. I'm going to put this, i got a little tiny bit of uh, broth here. I'm going to put it in here. I'm just going I'm just going to go ahead and put it in there because it's just a little bit. That's it. I don't want to waste it. Cook up pork chops. So now when you're smothering meats, uh, the thing about it is you have to smother them and let them simmer for a while. Let them get tender. Let those onions get nice and sweet. Okay? Beautiful. Everything smells amazing. I'm going to come around. We can sit down, talk, and chit-chat about everything you want to talk about. Okay? Gina, if you're cooking green Saturday, I'm cooking with you. Oh, great! Great! Okay, I'm hearing. Uh, thank you, Lord, I found y'all. Oh, Sylvia, welcome in. I'm glad you found me. Welcome in. Once you come in, you're stuck with us. You have became family. So, Sylvia, we welcome you in such a way. And this is what we do Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. There are some times where I'll cancel the live because I just can't do it, you know. Um, but Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, we cook, we talk, we chit chat. Sometimes after cooking, we'll eat together, pray together, and then we just talk for a couple hours. So, welcome and thank you for coming in and joining us today. Hey, listen. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know what I'm doing in this kitchen. Oh, thank you. I feel the love. Oh, great. Great. Well, there is much love coming your way. Because like I said, more than anything, we appreciate you coming in to join us. Yes, we do. My, so my green beans, my green beans are done. We have um, cornbread in the oven. Green beans are turned off. I got rice going. I got the timer on so I don't burn it. <laughs> and um, we have our pork chops just simmering. Okay, so after about a half an hour, we'll come back, check on our pork chops, and um, keep in mind that we cooked our pork chops 85% of the way. So they only have to cook that little bit of the way in order for them to be done. We're waiting on the onions to get nice and sweet the pork chops to get nice and tender and fall off the bone, and dinner will be served. Okay? I'm coming around and we can talk. I think I want some water. Hey, I'm coming around, guys. Kicking it with Donna. You love being here with us? Hey, listen, kicking it with Donna. I'm so glad that you enjoy it here with us. I'm so glad to have you here. I really am. And you know what? I'm, I'm glad to have all of you here. I, I got food all over me, but we'll make it, right? We're going to be okay. <laughs> you have a question, and I have an answer for you, Ron. What is your question? I would love to answer you. Okay, so when, uh, my Holy King says I bet Kroger's. Okay, so what's the question? I'm just getting some of the oil off of my face because when I'm behind these lights, my face gets oily. 
and I gotta soak up some of the oil guys I'm not putting makeup on I'm soaking up the oil on my face because these industrial lights that we use can get kind of hot we it's gonna be a party in your mouth in a little bit you bet it <laughs> it's so funny when I read some of your comments you bet it is it's gonna be a party in your mouth Gina <laughs> They keep bringing us white yams instead of the red ones. I hate them. How can I fix them? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. How can I fix them to fit to eat? Okay, okay. Cook them the same way you cook the orange ones. Cook them the exact way you make the orange ones. Um, cut them boil them for about 12 minutes put them in a baking dish ron and then if you want me to i can email you put them in a baking dish drain them put them in a baking dish okay boil okay peel them <laughs> cut them slice them about this thick cook them for 12 minutes drain them put them into a baking dish and you're gonna put some brown sugar some butter, some cinnamon and vanilla. You're gonna bake them in the oven uncovered on 350 until they get tender. And you're gonna have candied yams. The yams are delicious even though that they're white, okay? White is just, it, it, it's still a yam and it's still delicious. You can cook it that way. You can even bake it in the microwave. Like I showed you how to make a baked yam in the microwave or bake them in the oven, open them up and put some butter, cinnamon and sugar on them, okay? But if you want me to email that all to you, I can email that to you too, okay? If you, okay, so if you were, I'd buy everything at Kroger's as you see everything is a, oh. I get pork steak, oh, Miss Karen, I get pork steaks too. I love pork steaks. Um, you see, when I make my Puerto Rican pork chops, I make pork steaks, and they are so delicious. Oh, my goodness. Yes. So, so earlier, I, um, earlier, I ordered from Instacart. They told me they didn't have the assorted chops, and I said, oh, no, because I'm thinking, I need them. So I asked the person that was shopping for me, I said, okay, so can you go to the meat counter, get me some, and email would be great. Okay, I'll email you. I sure will. Um, so I, I told him, I said, okay, I need assorted pork chops. So can you get me some assorted pork chops from behind the counter, have them package them for me? Let me show you what he got for me. Oh, Lord, I couldn't use them. I just couldn't use them, and I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Hold on. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Hold on, y'all. You can also cut the yams very thin along with regular. Oh, I, I'm going to tell you something good you can do with them, Ron. I'm going to email you tonight. Let me show you what, what Instacart brought me. And then I had to order again. And then I told the second person, I said, please. I said, if, if assorted pork chops ate out on the floor, can you ask the people in the back, please, to get me? some assorted pork chops that he was able to get them for me let me show you let, let me just show you hold on what's what's that what's those tissues is that the tissues for, for what in the water guys are you kidding me are you kidding me look how thick that is Tina almost choked you cracked me up look at this oh so I have to do something with them they are I mean they're this big so I'm thinking wait a minute so I'm thinking that oh you're looking for a thick lamb chop you, i know you 
could probably go to your local meat market and, and tell them how thick you want your lamb chops. I, kn I think they were trying to be funny. Because when I said, oh no, there's no assorted pork chops, please go behind the counter, tell them I want assorted pork chops, and this is what they gave me. And the price was $35. Are you kidding me? So the next time I'm going to say, show me a picture. Tell me the price. Tell me the price. <gasps> Maybe you could stuff them. Oh, maybe you could stuff them. So we're going to figure it out. That right there is just nuts. I've never seen them thick like that before. I know, Erica. It's just completely nuts. This just threw me, this just threw me for a ringer. <laughs> I, I know, they're really thick. That's not what I wanted. Why can't you buy a pork loin and slice them yourself? Deanna, because I don't, I don't, I don't want a pork loin because um, I like assorted pork chops. Um, a pork loin is not as juicy as an assorted pork chop is. Um, although I do like pork loin, but when I have pork loin, I like for my pork loin to be um, uh, baked because I know how to cook it to where it remains juicy. But frying them and then smothering them, that's not what I want to do with pork loin. Gina, let the butcher chop them. I know, but you can't bring them back from home and take them to your butcher and tell them to chop them. You gotta purchase it there and say, can you make these thin? So I'm gonna have to, maybe I'll make some Haitian grill. I, I, I don't know, but I'm not happy with these thick pork chops. Gina, I'm making your chicken parmesan tonight and I'm happy. Oh, yeah, you agree? Assorted pork chops? Let me put these away. Look, guys, look at that. that you got to be kidding me. smother it. If I'm making a pork loin, I cook it in the oven. Y'all about to eat good over there at the y'all. Oh my goodness. We're super duper excited. <sighs> sometimes I do understand uh, my holy king because sometimes the boneless meat can be a little dry at times. You know, the boneless meat can get dry sometimes. So I do understand where she's coming from. So my rice will be done in about seven minutes. I'm gonna turn it off. Green beans are done. I gotta keep an eye on my cornbread. And our pork chops are smothering. I just picked the pork chop up and it almost fell off the bone. So we know that those pork chops are getting nice and tender. But looking at the onions, I want my onions a little bit more cooked. So we're gonna continue to let them simmer for a little bit. And then very soon dinner will be done. Gina, I'm for sure making these mother pork chops. Dang, they look delicious. Okay, Sylvia, that's great. That's great. And Sylvia, what's great about this is um, anything that I make on this channel, 
Um, I have a video that you can pause, you can fast forward it, you can rewind it as you're cooking with me. And when you're stopping that video, I'm going to always be teaching you in detail, telling you why you would want to do something, why you wouldn't want to do something. When making the gravy, I'm teaching you in detail. So it's going to be so simple for you to make it and you can do it. All the chopped ingredients. That's what you guys are talking about. Um, I, I do want to do that. I do want to do it. I, I, I'm just wondering the perfect day. So we've already set in stone that Saturday we're going to have greens. How about the following Saturday? Let's set it in stone so we can do it. How about the following Saturday where you, got, where you guys can vote on what ingredients we will use for the following Saturday and I'll do a, top, a chopped edition. You guys will give me a time period to make something. Okay, check this out. You'll give me a time period to make something. You're gonna give me crazy nut ingredients and tell me to make something out of it. Just don't tell me to make a dessert because if you give me pig feet and chocolate, I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> I wouldn't make no dessert. I would sit on the counter and cry. <laughs> so don't ask me to make a dessert. I'll make a dinner for you <laughs> using pig feet <laughs> and chocolate. I'll, 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 make a I'll make a dinner, but not a dessert. Okay, so I think it's a deal. Gina, we have a future request. Oh, it is going to be fun. Okay, girl. Okay, okay. So Sylvia says, girl, I did that. Uh, to get the name of your pot. Thank you for it. You love, you'll be watching and sharing it with the world. Okay, great. Great. Chopped. I have to watch it. Oh, you're going to watch it because we're going to have fun. Onions and gizzards. <laughs> I, okay, 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 Raymond. Raymond, how you doing? Okay, okay, okay. So here's what we can do. Gina, the other day you said something that makes a great shirt. I am the recipe. Oh, I, Renee Hall, I love that. I love that. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm taking that. <laughs> Sardines and sushi, my holy king. Oh, my goodness. What are you guys going to do to me? Okay, so here's what we'll do. Would you all like that is fun right miss miss what's your name miss wonderful miss wonderfully made okay hey drew how you doing welcome in ty ty hello sushi and pancake batter see y'all can't y'all can't get too nuts on me don't get to i mean you gotta give me a little chance right like if you love me you won't give me ingredients that is completely impossible <coughs> hold on guys they said my rice is done the timer went off so let me turn my um, rice off, okay? Let me check on my cornbread, and I'm coming right back around, okay? And then a baby duck still in the shell. Don't you do it. <laughs> Don't you do it. Don't you do that to me. Okay, so I'm going to ask you guys when I come back. Do you want to vote on the ingredients now? Remember, it won't be for this Saturday, but it'll be for the following Saturday. Oh pork brains it and bread in the can don't you dare Sonya <laughs> give me a second y'all hold the comments I'll be right back hey my cornbread is looking good Oh, is it your stomach? 
Is it your stomach that's rumbling? Look at this. Look at that. Oh my goodness, Gina. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. This is really live. This is really happening. And you can do it too. I told you guys, you can do the same thing. If you love, there was a person in the comment section when I first got on the live that said put mushrooms in. You can. I've even made this recipe where you can put bell peppers in there. Just let it simmer. Great flavor. It needs to simmer a little bit longer. And what I will tell you is uh, also let the pork chop simmer as long as you want, okay? Because um, the pork chops basically are done, but if you want them super duper tender, if you want them super duper tender, then you're going to let them simmer for a nice amount of time, right? But if you don't care how tender they get, well, you don't have to let them simmer long, okay? So, now's the perfect time. If you wanted to clean up, you could. Remember, I always like to tell everybody, cleaning up will keep you stress-free. Everything's nice and clean. I'm getting ready to come around and we can talk. Only thing that my rice is done, green beans are done, this is almost done. Uh, only thing I'm waiting on is my cornbread. I'm going to come around and I want to see if you guys want to give me ingredients for the following Saturday, not this Saturday. We can do it right now. Okay, so give me a second to get it in. Let me check my cornbread real quick. All right, so let me get the pen and the paper. Now listen, you can, y'all got, you got, come on y'all. Don't give me the craziest of ingredients, but you can give me crazy ingredients. You know, you can say clams in a can, clams in a can and Cool Whip, whatever you decide, but don't get too wild, okay? Like give me a little chance if you love me. All right, I'm gonna grab a pencil and a piece of paper out of my bedroom and I'll be right back, okay? You still in here? Okay. Sonia, I found you on Facebook. You are beautiful. Oh, yes, she is. And her daughter, too. She looked just like you. Oh, you probably hear that a lot, Sonia. <laughs> all right. Please forgive me for having flour all over me, but you know we're cooking live, right? Give me a chance. All right. Here we go. So now, how will this thing work? How are we going to do it? Okay. Uh, hold on one second. Dakota. Can you turn the fan on towards me, please? Uh-oh. Uh some uncommon, T-Y, T-Y, uh, some uncommon meat. No. Okay. Nope. Let's see. Turn it this way. This way. Down. Let me see if I can feel it. I'm not feeling it for some reason. I'm talking about the fan, y'all. Hold on. Turn it that way. Up. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Even though you don't like marshmallows. Okay, so let's see 
what we can do. Okay? Um, what I'll do, I don't want to do the whole thing where we, uh, where we, you know how we normally used to vote? And then we would do a whole poll and everything like that. I don't want to do that right now. So what we'll do, I'm going to close my eyes. When I open my eyes, the first message that I see, here's the thing. If it's not too crazy nuts, I'll choose that ingredient. I'm going to close my eyes again, and you guys keep scrolling in the ingredients, okay? And the next ingredient that I open my eyes up to and I read, I'm going to say, okay. Okay, so we'll do it that way. How many ingredients do I need? That's the question. And then I can also use it. I can also use, let's put some rules. Let's put some rules at hand, at stake. We can also use ingredients that's in the pantry. Like if I need to use some of my oil, if I need to use some flour or some sugar or my seasonings, I'm going to be able to grab that and use it as well, okay? But I'll be incorporate, in, incorporating the ingredients that you guys want me to use. It's dairy. I'm welcome in. All right, six ingredients. Oh, my good. Hold on. That's quite a bit. <laughs> that's quite a bit of the ingredients, my holy king. Okay, five. Renee says five. Renee, I agree with you. Uh, don't you do it, Ron. Don't you dare. <laughs> okay, so let's go. I'm going to close my eyes. All right. Yes, they use pantry ingredients. All right, Linda, how you doing? Welcome in. Okay, okay, okay. So when I open my eyes, the first message that I read, I'm going to use your first ingredient that you say. Okay, ready? One, two, three. I'm getting ready to open my eyes in one second. Get ready to open them now. Potatoes. Okay. So hold on. We're going to use potatoes. <laughs> Renee's message. I've seen potatoes. Okay, hold on, let me close my eyes. Let me close my eyes. Let me close my eyes. And when I open them again, remember we get five. I'm going to open them here in one second. When I say three, I'm going to open my eyes. One, two, three. <laughs> Beef tongue. <laughs> I don't know if I can find that, Renee. <laughs> don't you dare. Don't you dare, Renee. <laughs> hold on, let me close my eyes again. I don't know, on a serious note. I don't want to be able to not follow through with this, okay? So an ingredient like that, what if I can't find it? You know, y'all would never believe me that I couldn't find it. So let me try it again. When I say three, I'm going to open my eyes. The first ingredient that I see, I'm going to use it, okay? One, two, three. I don't see nobody's message. Where's the messages? Cilantro. Okay, hold on. All right. <laughs> you gotta go to the farm. <laughs> Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Okay, let's do it again when I open my eyes at three. That's it. One, two, three. Chicken feet. I don't know if I can find chicken feet. Oh, hold on, let's do it again. I'll close my eyes. One, two, three. Monster chops. What's a monster chop? <laughs> let's do it again. Let's do it again. One, two, three. Fish sauce. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hold on, fish sauce. Okay. So that's three. We got two more ingredients, guys. Give me something, hopefully. And here's the thing. If I don't open my eyes to something that don't make sense, then we may have to just keep going for a few minutes. Okay, one, two, three. Lobster. Lobster? Okay, okay. How would I, what? Okay, 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 okay. So now, I, I hear, let's talk 
about this real quick. <laughs> you can't afford the lobster. What I was going to say is the lobster, getting it out of the shell is going to give me, it is going to push my time back. I ain't really on chop, y'all. <laughs> right? So, with it being in the shell, I would really have to be like, I'd be sweating up, you know, I'd be sweating up a storm in here. Let's try to get them. Close my eyes for the fourth ingredient. One, two, three. Beef tips. <laughs> Beef tips. Okay. All right, here's what we have. This is nuts. Potatoes, cilantro, fish sauce, beef tips, and you guys probably want to throw in something like, like that's going to throw it off, like they would do on, on uh, chopped, like they would throw in orange sherbet, ice cream, root beer, something chocolate, peanut butter, okay? Because we have all savory stuff and I don't want for y'all to think, oh, she had easy ingredients, right? Throw me something that is gonna throw off my equilibrium. <laughs> okay, make me say, wait a minute. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes. One, two, three. Three. Grapefruit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, grapefruit. That's the first one I see. <laughs> I don't know who said that. All right. All right, we're going to plug this up. <laughs> grapefruit. Are you kidding me? Hold on. I'm taking the microphone off. We got to plug in the um, camera. LOL, cough drops. Who said that? Don't you dare do that to me. <laughs> Hold on, guys. It's going to be interesting. So here's what we have. Potato cilantro, fish sauce, beef tips, and grapefruit. Okay, and this is going to be for next Saturday. <laughs> this could be a total disaster or it could be fun. It was Erica. I'm going to get you, Erica. Erica, I am going to get you good. <laughs> uh, mango. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Let's plug in the camera. we got to plug in this camera. I need to check in on my pork chops. It may be time to eat. Butterfly lips. That is so... Do butterflies have lips? <laughs> Hold on, guys. So, hold on. Let me ask you all a question. I got me some water. Are y'all happy with uh, the ingredients? I'm going to give you a chance to say yes or no. If most of the people are not happy with the ingredients, we'll change them. But if you're happy with the ingredients, keep the ingredients and we'll, we'll use all those ingredients. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we're praying for Drew that he has a successful surgery. Drew, we're praying for you. And we know that God will be on your side. Heavenly Father, please protect and watch over the surgeon that takes care of him. Watch over the nurses. 
um, anybody that's taking care of him, family and friends. We pray that you protect his body and keep him safe from head to toe. No weapons formed against Drew shall prosper in the name of Jesus. We bind the devil away from Drew in Jesus Christ's name. Heavenly Father, we're going to thank you ahead of time for hearing and answering this prayer. We know that you are the almighty and the omega that answers all prayers. And we're thanking you, Lord, that you're going to protect Drew and help him to wake up Fill them refreshed in Jesus Christ's name and have a quick healing process. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Okay, so Special K says, change the ingredients, Gene. I don't like them. You're so welcome. I didn't even know. I didn't know you was having surgery. Amen. Okay, so when I went over, change the, change the meat only. Renee is saying change the meat. Change the beef tip meat. Thank you, Ron. Ron says God has got you, brother. Renee says no fish sauce, please. <laughs> Good night, Superman. I, I don't know. I didn't know anything was wrong with Drew. I just heard everybody saying... You know, take care, we'll be praying for you. So I just started praying. <clears throat> oh, Sonia says sausage. The meat is not strong. Okay, okay, so I'm taking the meat off, Ron. The beef tips, because the meat is not strange enough. Okay? Change the meat to sausage. Let's change the meat to sausage. Okay, this will be interesting. Okay. Sausage. Okay. <clears throat> it has to be strange. Okay, so this is strange. So we have potato, cilantro, fish sauce, sausage, and grapefruit. Okay, okay. says hopefully it's gonna be delicious well we'll see here's the thing if it don't taste if it don't taste good I'm gonna tell you if it does not work out it don't taste good I'm gonna tell you you'll see my whole reaction but if what if it tastes good then it'll be a, a recipe that we can put in 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 the repertoire whatever you want to say <laughs> and you guys can try the recipe with your family okay so we'll try it oh Renee said it's gonna be Gas City. <laughs> okay. I hope not. Oh, they have to be the judges. I will definitely let them be the judges. I'm going to tell them all about it. If they hear me in the background right now, they're probably saying, oh, no, what is she getting us into? <laughs> oh, no, what is she getting us into? And I can use the pantry goods. Okay, and I will. <laughs> I will. We'll see what happens. The cilantro is going to throw me for a whole loop. But, and, and I have to make for all of these ingredients be the star in the recipe. So I can't just use a little tiny bit of grapefruit. I can't just use a little tiny bit of cilantro. The judges have to taste the food. So we'll do it. And it'll be fun. It will be fun. T. Smith, you said, oh, a strawberry shortcake dessert. Hi, it's been a while, Helen. How you doing? Can you make cilantro lime rice? Sure I can. I've made it before on this channel. Drew, let me tell you how you make it. Um, you'll take rice, you put cilantro in your rice, you put lime juice in your rice, a little bit of salt and pepper, and you have cilantro lime rice. It's, it's so easy. It's so super easy and it's delicious. But that's how you make it. A lot of people think cilantro lime rice is hard. It ain't, it ain't hard at all. Oh, you're getting over cold? Oh my goodness. Well, K Helen, it's nice to see you. Kay 
Casey, what did Casey say? Casey, welcome in. Casey says hello to Ron. Must be served over cold ice. <laughs> that would really be wild. I don't know how I would do that. It would be so disgusting. But listen, the if it had to be served over cold ice, the fat off of the sausage would harden up. <laughs> it would just it would not work. <laughs> okay, you don't Renee does not want to be the judge. <laughs> oh, you'll be the judge? Okay, Christopher said he will be the judge. <laughs> You need me, sweetie? Okay. Yes. I love you. Y'all come sit down. Come sit down. Be careful, baby. It's Sonia. What does Sonia say? Mr. Young will get the first bite. I'm going to tell him. I'm going to tell him all about it. Gina, can we make margaritas? Yes, we can. Um, okay, okay, okay. Margaritas on Saturday. Okay, greens. Hold on. Greens and margaritas. On Saturday. Okay. This Saturday, we'll make greens and margaritas. I'll show you how to make a faux margarita for the people that don't drink and for the people that do drink i'll still make one that has the alcohol in it okay so on this saturday coming okay this saturday coming we're going to do a big pot of greens that's going to keep me on here for a couple hours we're going to have a ton of fun and then we'll make margaritas the kind without the alcohol the kind with the alcohol the following Saturday, guys. I love how Gina's eyes lights up when Mr. Young comes in. Listen, y'all, I love him. I love him half to death. We've been together since 1997. And he still light my eyes up. He see, he, he does, he does, he does. He makes my heart flutter every time I see him. I love him so much. Um, so the following Saturday, we're going to do the chopped edi edition, okay? Please, Ron, Mildred, and Sonia, or one of you all, just remind me throughout the next week what we're going to do Saturday so I don't accidentally forget. Because it's easy to forget, you know, because it's the following Saturday. I don't want to forget, y'all. I want to remember, okay? Because so, I would like to do that. I think it'll be a ton of fun. So y'all just message me. Thank you, Nerly. Nerly, how you doing? Oh, you will. Okay. And I'm going to message you tonight about how to, what to do to your sweet potatoes. Hey, listen. The white sweet potatoes can be good. Guess what, Ron? Uh, you can find in the local markets anymore and at Kroger's or, or even Walmart. You can find the sweet potatoes that are purple. When Listen, when I tell you purple, I'm talking about the color purple that's in the crayon box. You peel it and it is purple. There are people that make a sweet potato pie using that purple sweet potato. I'm not too sure about it. I've never tried that one, but I have tried the white one. The white one's good and it tastes the same as the orange. It's just white. Saj be getting his drink on. <laughs> hey, is Saj in here? Okay, Sonia says you got me. Okay, that's great. That's great. T. Smith says you spam, Gina. Oh my goodness. T. Smith, are you kidding me? You've seen purple sweet potatoes. Yes, look it up. Gina, can you read my email later after the live, the one I sent earlier? Yes, I'll actually read it now. I won't read it out loud, but I'll read it now. Ay, ay, 
I, I, important messages. Sonia, I did something wrong. Hold on, guys. Oh, okay, great. Okay, okay, great, 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 great. <laughs> Y'all get up on the couch, little puppies. Get up on the couch. Look at them, guys. Look at them. Oh, they so sad. They are so sad that my husband done left out the door. They don't know what to do with themselves. Look at them, guys. Look, just bumps on a log. They get so sad when my husband leaves out the door. He'll be back. Listen, your daddy will come back, okay? Hey, when daddy come back, you see, you see Prince's tail wagging on top of the couch. Hey, you want Daddy to come back? He'll be right back, okay? Daddy will be right back, all right? He'll give you a snack when he comes back. Look, look, look. Daddy will be right back, okay? <laughs> those, y'all, those are my babies. You hear me? I love their whole life. I love their whole life. They overheard the chopped ingredients. I know they did. <laughs> He should have took them with him. A lot of times they go, um, when they go, they still bark at people. <laughs> Y'all, when I tell you, excuse me, they bark at people, it gets kind of embarrassing. But we're happy that they bark at people because they let us know somebody walk up to the house, somebody walking in the driveway near the windows, the doors, they're barking. They can smell them. They can hear them. They're barking. So we don't want to stop them from barking, but it does get a little annoying when you take them out and they're just totally barking. Yeah, so he does take them because they love the car. They love getting in the car. They love a car trip, but uh, he didn't take them a whole, whole lot. But when he takes them, it's a big treat for them because they'd be so excited. <laughs> they don't like, they probably don't. Hey, no, I don't want my dogs to be soft. I want my dogs to bark at people. <laughs> Even though I'm saying, when we go out, <laughs> when we go out, it can be embarrassing when they're barking and growling at people, but we don't want them to stop barking. We don't want them to be the type of dog where you come up to this door and they just like, hey, hey. We want them to be the type of dogs that they let you know when to get ready in the middle of the night. Right? You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying. So, um, and they do just that. If anything's going on, they let you know. They let you know before the cameras will let you know. And we want them to continue to do that. So we don't want them too friendly with people. You know, and I, me personally, I think it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yes, Raymond. <laughs> Cats are very protective of their owners. Oh, isn't that cute, Christopher? I didn't know that. Okay, so Renee says, next time you should write our chopped ingredient suggestions on slips of paper. Then pull them out of a jar and see what you got. Oh, Renee. Renee, you make such a great point. So tell me this, y'all. Everybody in the comment section. I, I am finished with the ingredients. I got five here. Renee says what you should do, Gina, write down our suggestions, put them in a hat, pull out 
the ingredients and choose them that way. Would you guys rather me do it that way or keep what I have right here? What would you rather me do? That sounds good to you. Great idea. Oh, okay. Ronald T says yes. Oh, okay. But here's the thing. We learn as we go. Pull out the hat. Grab a big bag, Gina. Yes. Okay. I think that would be more like chopped to pull them. Okay. So you want me to just discard this? If I just discard these ingredients. Okay. Renee says next time. Keep the ones you have for now for this time. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. So what? 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 I'll let the moderators decide. What should I do? Should I? Should I write down um, suggestions? Put it in the hat, shake it, and pull out what I, the ingredients, or keep what I have right now. Let me know, moderators, what I should do right now. And then after, you guys tell me, I'm going to turn those pork chops off. We're going to say an amazing prayer, and we're going to eat. Hey, Jeanette, how are you? Welcome in. Keep it for now. Okay. Okay, we'll keep it for now. So next time, what? Well, all right, that's fine. We'll keep this for now. Next time, we'll do it that way, okay? And, and he said a category for each. Okay. Okay, so right now, we'll keep this for now. Let's turn our pork chops off, okay? And let's say a, a, a blessing over our food. And we're going to eat, and we're going to chat. All right? Heavenly Father, we thank you on today. I thank you, Lord, and Lord Jesus, for your strength. Thank you, Lord, for your courage, your will. Thank you for your wisdom. Please give us a peace of mind. No weapons formed against us shall prosper in the name of Jesus. We bind the evil devil away from us. Let the devil know he stands no chance. Heavenly Father, you hold the hearts of all kings and authorities over our, our life. You hold their heart in your hand, and you turn it like a water course. Blessed be the name of the good Lord Jesus. Please forgive us for our sins as we sin in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace, and the joy you bring us. Thank you for this extended, extended family that's on the other side of this camera. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for everyone that has joined this live today and everyone that will join our live. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your mercy. Thank you, Jesus, for peace. Heavenly Father, I pray that you put a strong blessing up on everyone that's in this chat. No weapons formed against them shall prosper. Thank you for this food that we're able to eat, and we pray for all of the people that don't have food. We pray that they're able to have some type of meal and some type of shelter. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. This Saturday, we're doing greens and margaritas. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, great. All right. Turning the meat off. Making of the plate. Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. You guys are going to get to taste everything that I made today. You're going to see how tender these pork chops are. And guess what? You know your pork chops are done. Guess why? Because you cooked them 85% of the way. And then the rest of the way, they have been simmering all this time in that hot bubbling gravy. Let's do it. I need to turn the camera around. Get a cameraman so we can do this. We, we can do this together. For the person that cooked with me, let me know how your recipe turned out when I come back around. Charging the uh, 
camera, so the microphone is not on. So I'll just talk a little bit louder. In the meantime, in the meantime, I want to wash my hands and make a plate. Be a 
crying. Oh my goodness. Hey, listen, this is going to be great. And you know what? This could be a um, meal for a date night. It really could be. I mean, because it is. It is a great, it's a gorgeous place. Make it for a holiday. Make it just because it's that delicious. Try making it for a date night. It, it is pretty fancy, right? It didn't take us no time. All right? So amen once again to my beautiful prayer. Here we come around. We're going to taste. Looks delicious, Gina. Thank you. Ah, put your bid in fifteen dollars. <laughs> Never, you know that's so funny. That's so funny when you guys say that. It is uh, so much fun. Put your bid in twenty bucks. All right, I'm coming around, guys. Hello, Relax With Phases. Here it is. Here it is. I'm going to try to pan down on it so you can see what we got going on. We, we, we got it. We got, we, I think we might have it going on here. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. Okay, there it is. And there she is. Miss America. <laughs> All right. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Look at me. I got to take the apron down and I'm going to open my button up on my pants. You have to do that when you eat. You have to because you, you got to make room, right? You got to make a little room. You don't know what that is, Miss Karen? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's see. I'll slap the whole family for a plate of that. <laughs> that is so funny. You know that's funny. I'll slap everybody for that. <laughs> that is funny. What a funny message. Uh, Gina, if you open your own restaurant, I would have everyone in this chat help you run it. Never worry about short on staff. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I think this is a better picture. Because I had so much light that you all couldn't really see. God bless this meal once again. All right, so who wants to taste? I'm going to give you some. Y'all, listen, did y'all tell me that Saj wasn't in here? I didn't see Saj. Margaret, Mar Margaret, thank you. That's because we would eat all the food. <laughs> Hilarious. That was funny, Jackie, wasn't it? Okay, so let's see how I can do this with the camera. Hold on, I'm trying. Ugh. Let me fix myself. All right. How can I show you the plates? G. Hughes, welcome. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's cut this baby just like so. I'm going right in right here. Oh, my goodness. Lord have mercy. If you don't stop it, Gina. Oh, ho, 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 Okay. Let's taste it. Because I can't. I can't. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Mmm. Mmm. This is good. No napkins allowed. I have to have napkins. I need to get some. Oh, this is good. Ay, ay. Mm -hmm. 
Lord, thank you. <laughs> Lord, thank you. Mm. Oh, once again, Lord, thank you. Um. That's so funny. Throw some gravy at the camera. When y'all say that, it just cracks me up inside. When he said that that day, I mean, I fell out. I thought it was the funniest thing ever. Throw some sauce at the camera. Do something, Gina. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You said you love rice aroni? I do too. My husband really likes it. Now, I mean, I would have uh, chosen uh, just regular rice, but since my husband wanted that type of rice, I went ahead and made it for him. There's a little bit of cornbread on that. Look at, look at, ay, 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 ay. It's so tender, juicy, my goodness. Mmm. You said this was a $20 plate? Mm, 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 mm. Mm. One thing that it is, guaranteed juicy. Look at the inside. Never worry about the pork chop being not cooked because think about we cooked it 85% when we fried it. And then it simmered in that gravy for so long. Look how juicy it is in the inside. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. And if you want some hot sauce on it, you better get you some. I, mm, mm. Inform Rain, hello. Mm. I'm super excited about this right now. Like, but like I said, I'm not hungry. Right before I went live, I had a huge cup of coffee with my husband. Um, to kind of perk up our energy a little bit because uh, we were up all night last night. And, and we kind of slept in late this morning. But I just felt like I was dragging a little bit. So I prayed for the good Lord's energy. And I drank some coffee right before the live. So I feel like the coffee kind of, you know, like, uh, coated my stomach to where I'm not so hungry, you know? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yo. Green beans. Twice so. Going twice so. <laughs> Green beans and rice goes together like peas and carrots, if you didn't know any kind of rice it doesn't just have to be the on uh oh my this one of my favorite dishes oh okay okay um peas and uh, peas and carrots green beans and rice any kind of rice goes together i mean it could just be white rice i love the two combination mm. Think. Oh, hold on. I'm okay, Victoria. How are you? They do go together. Um, a lot of people think, excuse me, that a recipe like this takes forever in a day. It doesn't, Christopher. It doesn't. You, you know, here's the thing. If you got a little bit of time to spare, 
try the recipe even if you think it would take forever. But if I've told you when I've made a recipe or I've went live and I've cooked something and I tell you it don't take long, it don't. It don't. But if I tell you that this recipe you're going to need all day long to cook it, trust me. You know, like if we make a big pot of beans or greens, they do take forever in a day. But if I tell you something can be quickly made, trust me. Because some people are like, I ain't about to smother no pork chops and be in that kitchen forever in a day. But it don't take forever. Oh, Valencia. It was e easy, Gina. My pork chops taste delicious. <gasps> Valencia, thank you. That's great to know. And it tastes so good, right? Jers Nate, welcome in. What does Dakota dislike as far as food? Um, Dakota likes everything. Ah, uh, let's see. But there is something that he don't like. What is it? Um. Dakota don't like vegetables. Dakota don't like vegetables, y'all. Dakota don't like healthy foods. Yeah. He don't like healthy foods. He don't like vegetables. Um, there is something that he does not like. I have. To, it's like on the tip of my tongue, but I can't think of it. <laughs> oh, Mildred, that's funny. What is it? I can't think of what it is that he don't like. Um, maybe it'll come to me. I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I, I just can't think of it right now. I'm going in for this pork chop. Maybe one or two more bites. I'm just not hungry, hungry, but it's so good I can't stop eating it. And listen, it's so soft. Mmm. I can just mash it with my tongue and the roof of my mouth. That's how tender it is. I don't even have to use my teeth. It's so tender, y'all. Does anybody believe me how tender? How tender this is? Sonia, do you believe how tender this is? I feel odd trying to eat with my right hand. I'm left-handed. I have to eat with my left hand. How's Dakota doing in school? He's doing, oh, Valencia, you do. Thank you. Okay, we believe you, Gina. Thank you. He's doing good in school. Um, he likes it. Oh, okay, it looks tender. Okay, okay, great. <laughs> okay, great. I'd be wondering what you guys can see, you know, and I'd be hoping that the camera serves like some justice on, you know, if you can see how tender it is and if you guys can hear certain things when I'm mixing like my macaroni, you know how you get that creamy, dreamy sound. I'm like, can they hear what I'm hearing when I'm mixing this, you know, I'm taking another bite and that's a piece that's got fat on it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I, <laughs> if it makes you dance, if it makes you dance, it's good. Mm -hmm. I gotta put the plate down, y'all. I'm, I'm stuck. I'm just 
just not able to eat the way I used to eat before I had my tummy tuck. Because my stomach has shrunk like a whole lot. And I still wear the garment that uh, kind of sutures my, my stomach, holds my stomach in. And so therefore, I can't eat a whole, whole lot, you know? But what I can eat, I enjoy. <laughs> I actually have an appointment coming this month to go see my surgeon so he can check me out, look at me, and we'll talk about if I'm happy with everything from the surgery, if there's any flaws that I don't like, um, he'll fix it for free. So he's going to look at my whole body from the mommy makeover and let me know if he feels like anything needs to be fixed. We'll talk about fixing it. Or if there's anything that I don't like, am I happy with my scars and all this stuff. So he's going to look at all the areas where he did lipo. He's going to look at my stomach, the scars, the breasts, the scars. Um, and we'll talk about everything under the sun. And that'll be um, in the late middle of this month. So I'm super excited. And then my full year recovery will be November 17th. So this is actually exciting. Oh, you dance too while you're eating. Well, if you dance while you're eating, you know it's good. Because you don't just dance for no reason while you're eating. If you're dancing while you're eating, it's good. Gina, do you think you'll ever get another tattoo? I don't know. But I do like tattoos. My husband has about 17 tattoos. And I love them. Um, I like tattoos. Uh, I love the tattoos that I have. I may get another one. I don't know. When I got my tattoos, they didn't hurt me. He does have 17 tattoos. He does. He does. He has them on his chest his collarbone, his arms, his back. And that equals out to be about 17 tattoos, for real. And I think they look sexy on him. <laughs> I do. I know. <laughs> y'all didn't know that, huh? I just told y'all something that you didn't know. <laughs> What, what do you say it's a, um, he, he has, he has, um, he has our marriage date on him. He does, he does. He doesn't have my name, but he has the date that we got married on him. He does. I like tattoos also just on let's see Jers Nate says I like tattoo uh oh Jers Nate says I like tattoos also just on somebody else is that what you're saying <laughs> I, I, you know I feel like they don't hurt some people say they hurt I don't think they hurt here's the thing what I think is um, when you're doing something that you want to do, they don't hurt as much. But if somebody don't want to do it, it's going to hurt. They didn't hurt me. Because I wanted them so bad, they didn't even hurt. Mildred, we do. I don't know what you're talking about, but I do hope that everything goes well. Okay, let me see. Gina, I have, had, I have to get surgery done on my right hand. I, oh, you got to get surgery again? Oh, October 19th. We'll be praying for you. You make sure that you remind me, and we'll definitely say a good prayer over you, and you'll be just fine.
tattoos are cool but it depends on what part of the body oh okay yeah yeah I, I like them I think they're nice I think somebody some people can get tattoos that are ugly you know that don't look right but all depends on what they like you know oh man I got a tangle in my hair look at that how am I get that out I wonder what happened to the tattoos when you get really old and saggy. That, that Renee, the tattoos will probably, I think what happens because I've actually seen tattoos. Yo, I got, how do I got this tangle in the back of my hair? I'll tell you, I've actually, you know, I've worked with old, old, older people before. And what happens is, let me get this tangle out of my hair. Um, what happens to the tattoo, it doesn't get saggy, um, but if their skin begins to wrinkle, you know what I mean, like on the arms or what, wherever it is, um, of course it'll be a little wrinkle. But uh, uh, what will happen is the color will just fade. It doesn't look like the worst thing in the world, right? The color just fades right the color will just fade and i would just assume that uh if it was blue when they was younger then when they got older and i seen it it might be green you know so colors the 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 ink will fade but it would take so 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 many years for the color to fade so i have seen tattoos on older people and it faded it didn't look bad Brush it out with leave-in conditioner. Yeah, you see that? Oh, but I, I got the tangle out. Let's see. I got the tangle out. Yeah, I'll have to, like you said, put some uh, leave-in conditioner in. <laughs> Prince, where you at, honey? Oh, okay, okay. Let me see where my messages are. Gina, have you ever heard of white clam pizza? It's it's a future request. Um, clams is one of my favorite ingredients. I love clams. I love clam anything. I feel like a clam pizza would be totally delicious. I feel like a clam pizza would be like total knockout. I do. Um, I, I would have to figure out what I would do. So if I would throw like a white Alfredo sauce on the crust and then the clams and bake that baby, I would have to really put together a strategy on how I would... Uh, how I would make that pizza. But I love clams. I love me some clams. It's one of my favorite. I can eat clams straight out the uh, container. Okay, Gina and YouTube friends, I have to go. May you have a pleasant evening. Good night and hugs to you. Jackie, hugs to you. Thank you for coming in and joining. I appreciate you. Gina, look up Frank. His ingredients. Oh, okay. Have you tried seafood pizza? It's delicious. It with a white garlic sauce. See, Ronald, that's what I'm thinking. Like a white garlic sauce would be something great. So that's on the lines of what I would be looking for, you know? So if I can come up with something, I would definitely do it because I love clams. I don't know how I would like a seafood pizza though, on a serious note. I'm not a fan of, um, I, I don't know. I, I think what I would like to do is clams. Maybe we could add some shrimp, I don't know. Uh, I would have to put together a strategy. 
see you can you can you see in my eyes like what I'm thinking I, I'm really like like my wheels is go is turning right now on how I would execute this pizza but I think it could be done but I have to do some research try to figure it out okay um Gina has a has a pizzeria he is the number one okay Oh, fresh clams. They here. Okay, so but if I couldn't find fresh clams, I would get whole clams. That um, if I can't find them fresh, because there's a possibility. You see, I can't even find hog logs. If I couldn't find them fresh, what I would do is I would get the whole clams that come in the can, and they're big. They're about this big. So uh, I think I, I'll I'll research it tonight. A uh, Mildred. I have tattoos, ankle bracelets. It's just three daughters. Oh, is that great? The oldest daughter is a tattoo artist. She did your tattoo, and yes, it hurt. And I'm 100% finished. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Good night, Jackie. Y'all, I got some food stuck behind my retainer. Y'all know I got retainer stuck uh, on the back of my teeth. I got food stuck behind my retainer at the bottom. It's driving me nuts right now. But I'll get it. Because every time I eat, I brush my teeth. Y'all, I brush my teeth three to four times a day. I brush my teeth three to four times a day. Dakota thinks I'm totally nuts. But I'm okay with it. I'm going to keep doing it. Oh, do you like the long neck clams? I, I like all clams. I do, Ron. That's actually a great question. Gina, they said if you use clams in the can, it would spoil because they're already cooked. They, who's they? They said if you use clams in the can, it would spoil. What would spoil? It don't make sense. What would spoil? What would spoil? They're already cooked. Tell me what would spoil because I'm trying to figure out what you're saying here. They said that it's a weight loss tip, frequent brushing. Oh, I never knew that. That's interesting, Renee. I never heard of that. <laughs> I'll be brushing my teeth 10 times a day. No. <laughs> Let me see the time. Okay, hold on guys, I got a message. Okay, let's see, see the email. I gotta see this email from the school. Let's see guys, I got an important email here. Let's go to important. Boop -de -boop -de -boop -de -boop -de -boop -de hold on guys. Seafood paella. Now listen, uh, when I first started my channel, 2017, I made a homemade paella and um it had seafood in it it was delicious it was the best ever feel free to check that video out i may have made it two times um delicious oh, let me read this message y'all but i ain't going too far hold on uh Okay, okay, very interesting. Okay, this was... Hold on, guys. I got all kinds of messages. I need to read them. Okay, hold on. Now I got a message from YouTube. Hold on. In YouTube Studio, simplifying... 
starting November. Okay, hold on, guys. Give me one second. Optimizing. On newly upload, uh, uh, okay, when creators these factors include the um, um This change, oh, hold on guys, hold on one second. There's some interesting stuff here. This change will only apply to new. Yeah, y'all get to see me reading. I hope I don't look nuts on here reading. Hold on, guys. Okay, it's some real interesting stuff. And they're talking about um, some new stuff that they're doing with the ads. Um, the commercials that you guys see. And updates that they're going to be making and things like that. And so this will all be rolling out very soon. Um, I think it started in November. Okay, so that, that's all that they're talking about right now. And then I got a message from the school. Okay. Thank you for bearing with me while I uh, read my message. I hope I wasn't looking too nuts. I'm, I'm like... <laughs> oh, yes. Brushing a cat and dog's teeth is a must. You're right about that. We brush our dog's teeth. Um... At least I'm normally, I got a piece of hair on my lip. Um, I'm usually the one that brushes the dog's teeth because I, I, I'm able to grab them in such a way where I can get them to stay still and I can get their teeth brushed, rinsed in their mouth, rinsed out, and then, you know, everybody's happy. But I brush their teeth often and they actually have... Um, Hi, Kathy. Hello. Hey, Ron, tell your Kathy I say hello as well. Um, they have toothbrushes for your dogs and cats, if you didn't know. And the toothbrush has uh, bristles on this side and on this side. And so when you go in their mouth, you're getting a bristle touching this side in the back of their teeth. And all you have to do is... Uh, you know, go in and out a couple times, up and down, and you're getting the outside and the inside of their mouth. It's absolutely like the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> like who developed this toothbrush that has bristles on both sides? So yeah, I'm able to grab the dogs uh, in such a way where they'll let me do it. They don't like it. They don't like it at all when I brush their teeth, but we get the job done. I think it's a must for dogs to get their teeth brushed. Oh, Lister, my, 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 um, uh, Lister, my dog's breath don't stink. I've smelt dogs and their breath has stink. My dog's breath does not stink. They, my dogs smell like babies. And I don't know if y'all believe me or not. My dogs smell better than some humans. Do you hear me? My dog smells so good. Everything, their feet. They're everything. They smell so good. And we wash them off. If they need washed off or use a baby wipe on them or wipe their feet or their eyes or their mouth, we will wipe them off. And they smell so good. If they need a bath between the time that they go to the, um, you know, to the pet place to get their shampoo and wash and their nails clipped and stuff, We'll wash them in between that visit. And we blow dry them. <laughs> we blow dry them on a very low setting. Sometimes it's on kind of like a cool setting. We blow dry them too. You still on? I'm glad I called. 
got you, Pamela. I'm here. How you doing? I's here. I'm here, but I'm going to get off very soon. How you doing? Welcome in. Listen, let me ask you a question. Did you all enjoy the live today? I hope you did. Did you have a good time with Gina Young? I'm hoping you did. Gina, does it feel like time is going faster than usual? No, <laughs> not to me. It doesn't. Uh, we had a great time, yes, and thank you. Okay, this is great. Um, I aim to show you guys a great time. I really do. I pray about it. I'm hoping that you guys' recipe turns out well. Hoping that I was able to explain everything in detail. Just hoping I can bring somebody a little bit of happiness and peace when I do these lives. Okay, Inform Rain, thank you. I don't feel like the time zoomed by. I'm fixing tonight's meat. Enough for the next, oh my, that sounds great, Ron. I like what you're doing. So what Ron is doing, Gina, I'm fixing tonight's meat enough for the next three to four days. That's awesome. I love the idea because why not right and then you ain't got to worry about it you ain't you know you ain't got to worry about it tomorrow or the next day or even the next day white clam pizza I'll, 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 I'll get into it I'll get into researching on it first okay I'll never I'll never put out a recipe or do a video or a live for you if I haven't studied on how to make it or if I haven't actually made it and tasted it myself Okay, because I never want to bring y'all any bull crap, okay? So let me do research and then I'll give you, you know, I'll do the video for you. Or a live. Uh, okay, so you said you don't think your grandpappy will let you brush his teeth. He chewed a toothbrush. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Gina, it's easy. Okay. But here's the thing, it may be easy, but if I ain't never made it, I still gotta research it, you know? I want it to be authentic as possible. I want it to taste good, and when I bring it to you all, hold on y'all, I need, hold on y'all, hold on one second. Hold, I'll be right back. Oh. garage closed because uh, you don't want to be going out late taking that trash out right so let's do it now uh, hold on guys we fix plates then we warm them up sometimes I oh that's great I like her sauces like chili or sloppy joes. I make a big batch. Oh, yes. I love, that's the way to go. That's the way to go, guys, what he's telling you right here. I love it. Oh, you can stretch a meal for three days. Absolutely. Y'all, my husband don't. <laughs> my husband's not a fan of leftovers. He'll eat this kind of leftovers, let me tell you. The kind of leftovers that, hold on, let, let me check my computer. The kind of leftover, he'll eat the kind of leftovers like, let's just say it's greens. Um, let's say it's baked macaroni. Uh, let's say it's leftover uh, pepper steak. Um, leftover beans, like a big pot of beans. Spaghetti, leftover lasagna. Anything else, he don't eat leftovers. 
I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> she remembers doing it. I'm just shocked the cat didn't scratch her up. Oh. Sometimes leftovers do taste better, like things like spaghetti. He'll eat leftover spaghetti, leftover lasagna, um, you know, different things. But sometimes he just don't want leftovers. I know, I know, I know. I didn't put my necklace on. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. I was wondering. Taste, it does, Ron. Taste changes you get older. It changes as you get older. It does. And, and sometimes when you're younger, um, can y'all see my eye twitch in this eye? Look at it. Do y'all see my eye twitching? That's nuts, right? You guys got to see it in live action. Look at it jumping up, up here. stress <laughs> I'm not I don't think I'm stressed out right now <laughs> twitching of the eye means something <laughs> yeah <laughs> my is it the right or the left it's my left you're gonna google it <laughs> uh it's still twitching let's see hold on everybody be quiet and it feels kind of funny It's so funny. He said stress. <laughs> yeah, it means your eyes is tired. They could be tired. Like I said, me and my husband, we had a good time last night. We sat up. We, we was up half the night, basically. And then we were just up half the night. And I feel like tonight will be another one of those nights where we're just up half the night. Tired, but, but still awake. It means good luck, Ronald. Look at you, Ronald. It means good luck. Okay, that's great. Gina, I can see it jump. Gina, we up to 2.30, which is rare. 2.30 what? Tell me 2.30 what? What are you talking about? Oh, no. I don't think it's anything serious. Now, I would, lack of sleep can do that, okay? So, uh, oh, 2.30 a.m. in the morning. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. We was up late. It was after 2.30. And then we got, y'all, listen. And then we did a video. We did a video. I was, listen, who, listen, who loves carbonara? Anybody know about carbonara? Carbonara? I don't know how to pronounce it, but other than the way that I do carbonara pasta it's an italian pasta and it has pancetta in it i did a video for it me and my husband and the video could not save it said that the file was lost so i'm gonna bring that video to you all tomorrow i don't i don't i don't get i don't let the devil win so tomorrow we're gonna redo the video and you guys get the video you're gonna be first to see it and it's so exciting because it tasted so good I was so sad for a second and then I said devil you ain't devil what you better back up so I'll be making a carbonara tomorrow for this channel it'll be so exciting if you never heard a carbonara uh, you never made it or tasted it you're gonna see it you're gonna see it tomorrow it's so interesting and it tastes good it's creamy dreamy it's a pasta recipe and you're gonna love it <laughs> and it's easy Sounds like a plan. Absolutely. Did you guys happen to see my cabbage rolls on the Healthy Channel today? We also did that too. <laughs> as tired as we are, and here we are today on the live as tired as I am. But the good Lord helps us make it through it all. You did. Okay, okay. 
what time oh I, I never put a time on my videos because we make our own schedule I don't know what time the video will be released you know hold on let me make sure uh, let me make sure Dakota didn't leave the garage door open he's taking the trash out and I want to make sure the dogs didn't run out the, the garage Okay, carbonara. Some people make it wrong. They're not in trouble, no. Um, some people make carbonara wrong. They think that in order to make carbonara, uh, you have to use cream. Cream in a traditional car in a traditional carbonara recipe. You don't use cream. I show you in the recipe tomorrow how it's made it's one of the best pasta dishes ever you're gonna want this recipe for your family you can make this recipe in 15 minutes dinner is served everybody's gonna get full everybody's gonna love it oh no it doesn't have squid let me tell you the ingredients ron yes they use eggs okay sonia can't wait okay so, uh, it's thin pasta, and, and honestly, you can use whatever kind of pasta. I use a thin spaghetti pasta, okay? But if you want to use bow tie, whatever kind of pasta you want, just a half a pound is all you're going to need, okay? Cook your pasta. I'm not gonna, I don't want to, I don't want to give it all away right now. I don't want to tell you everything. Just watch the video tomorrow. I don't want to give it all away i don't want to give i don't want to give it all away uh -uh, uh -uh. then you won't have nothing to look forward to but the recipe stunning stunning traditional italian recipe you will love it no no seafoods in it ron it has pancetta or guanciale i don't know if you know what either one of those are and if you don't know then you or you can't find guanciale or pancetta uh, you can use bacon and for the people that don't eat pork bacon you can use turkey bacon splendid recipe ah, thank you everything you make is stunning thank you hey I try my best I try my best you you know pancetta but not guanciale okay 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 it's all it's all Italian it's all Italian. The heat from the eggs. There you go, Ronald. Now we're talking. The heat from the eggs will warm it up. You're right. You got it. I was trying to explain that to my husband, and he was like, okay, so what happens with the eggs? And I told him, I said, I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay, yeah, Ron. So you'll see, and you're going to you're gonna want to make this recipe for Kathy. And I know she doesn't eat meat. So uh, you can still make it without the meat, and it's 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 a total, it's amazing. Bacon wrapped shrimp and scalloped and chicken breast. Sonia, I hope you cook tomorrow with Gina. I have made it before. Not now, my holy king. I'm not going live tomorrow. You said you hope she cooks tomorrow with me. I'm not going live tomorrow. It's just a video. Just a video tomorrow. But you know I'm going live on Saturday. When I go live Saturday, we're making margaritas. And we're also making a big pot of greens. Any kind of greens you want to make. Yeah, he thought I was going live. My goodness. I, I, look, they know their dad is home. They know their dad is home. You hear that? And they jump, they jump right off the couch. 
They jump right off the couch. They know daddy's home. Honey, they said, they said when I look at you, my face lights up. Oh, that's, ah, okay. Well, that's good. He said. That's good after 46 years. He said, that's good after 46 years. <laughs> <laughs> it should be still lighting up. It that's does. Good. It that's, does. That's you you, you light my face up. You do. Okay. You do. You make me happy, baby. That's definitely make me they happy. They do. They know they're dead. They knew he was coming. I didn't even know. I didn't even know he was outside. But you hurt me. They, look. They jumped off the couch. They just and they're right at his feet right now. <laughs> they love him, buddy. They love him. <laughs> and he loved them too. They spoil each other. They do. They do. He holding both of them like this right now. He holding both of them. He is. No, Ronald. It's really not forty six years. <laughs> He said, he said, well, 46 years. <laughs> How old do you think I am, Ronald? I'm going to get you. <laughs> but it, it hasn't been 46 years. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we have been together since 97. We have been together since 97. So it, it, it is quite a while, yes. And it's been good years, y'all. Good years. <laughs> yeah, he was a young buck. He, 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 he just said, tell him you was a young yeah. buck when we met. A young buck. I mean, you was barely 20. He said, I, he said, I was barely 20. Yeah. I was. I was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honey, my, my jaws is <laughs> smiling so much. <laughs> Gina was one years old. <laughs> a child bride. <laughs> oh, he was. He was a great choice. Yes, absolutely. And that's why my eyes light up when I see him, because I, I appreciate him, guys. <laughs> Sonia, the same for you. The same for you and your husband. Absolutely. Oh, Ron says I appreciate him too. <laughs> yeah, Ron, that's my Libra brother. He said, tell Ron that's my Libra brother. From another mother. From another mother. <laughs> <laughs> Jersey Nate says 26 years. That's great. Yes. Is that what it was? Yeah. 26. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. you did you hit the wrong button I know you did <laughs> you said we cook <laughs> oh yeah you told me that Sonia that's right how exciting right okay so remember I told you we just went downtown but my husband did say um, the song for you uh, is that was that the song yeah, the song for you, uh, Kenny Lattimore. Is that who it's by? Mm -hmm. Kenny Lattimore, for you. Mm -hmm. And it is. It's such a great song. We're going to go to Vegas in a couple of years and renew all that. Yeah, I told him. Yeah. I told them. Yeah, he said we we're going to go to Vegas and renew our vows. But we just don't know when. He's maybe in a couple of years. Mm -hmm. But one thing that we'll do, we'll definitely let you guys know. You guys be first to know. I know you was trying to erase it. It's okay. When I don't read your message, I know that you made a misspell because I do it all the time when I'm typing to you guys. And I might say thanks for watching. I might say I might say thanks for wearing. <laughs> so when I don't read your message, it's okay because I, when I don't read it out loud, 
It's because I know you misspelled something. <laughs> a lot of times when I'm messaging you guys back, I'll say, thanks for watching. God bless. But for some reason, my fingers will type out, thanks for wearing. God bless. And the people are like, wait a minute. What is she saying? <laughs> yeah. Oh, autocorrect. Autocorrect will always do it. You're always making errors. Oh, but, but we get it. Right. Absolutely. That's why I said sometimes when I say thanks for wearing, yeah, I'd be like, if I didn't get a chance to erase it, I say they know what I'm they know I'm trying to say. Thanks for watching. <laughs> they know I ain't got time to erase it. 38 years for Ron and Kathy. Whoa. Plus, they dated three years. So, Whoa. 41 years. Yeah, yeah. That's big time. That is big time. That How exciting. Time. Whoa. Whoa. Yes, it is. Whoa, that's big. Uh-huh. Oh, you didn't mean to put the sock in that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, he said she's my everything. I know that's right. Oh. Years. Yes, Christopher. Sometimes the spelling errors are really funny. It is a big time congrats, right? Yes. That is exciting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mildred. Absolutely. Thank you. Oh, Veronica, you say 22 years and you dated for five months. Congratulations. How exciting. Five months. She knew he was the one. Huh? Oh, he said five months. He knew you was the one. Yeah. Oh, so Ron says, I love this family. Ron, we love you too. Mm -hmm. We do. Absolutely. Yes, we do. Yes. It is Kathy, isn't it? It is. Yes, it is. <laughs> hey, we have a lot of fun on here. We do. Yes, we do. So, I know you all are excited about Saturday. I'm pretty excited. I'm what pretty is Saturday? A Satur what doing? Saturday, what we're going to do, we're going to be making a big pot of greens. Okay. And then we're going to make margaritas. What type of meat? Turkey? Tur smoke meat? turkey. Smoke turkey. Uh-huh. Okay. Smoke turkey. Uh-huh. So, uh, and then we're going to make margaritas. Oh, for real? Yeah. Y'all putting something in it? Yeah, we're putting something in it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, right. so we're going to make a faux margarita for the people that don't drink. A what? A faux, like a fake one. Okay. And then we're going to make the real one for the people that do drink. Oh, okay. So as we're waiting on the greens to cook, I'm going to show them how to make a margarita. What type of liquor are you put in it? Uh, I, I got I to look up how to make one. <laughs> <laughs> I got to look up how to make it first, and then I'm going to show you Can how you to make, make it. with all different types of liquors? I, I don't know. Okay, so okay. He, he, said, he said, what ingredients? I said, I don't know. I got to figure it out. <laughs> then, I'll, then I'll come on Saturday and show you how to make it. <laughs> That's how this thing works. <laughs> Um, but now on the Saturday after that, guess what they want me to do? What's that? This is nuts, honey. I think what they do to me sometimes. Torture. I, torture. He said torture you. <laughs> I think what they do to me sometimes is they peer pressure me. Uh -oh. Honey, I think I got peer pressure <laughs> by this group here. Uh -oh. So here's what they did. What? On the Saturday after, I'm going to do a chop. A what? Chopped, like they have on Food Network. Okay. Where the audience decides what ingredients you're going to use. They're going to give you some... Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. Some weird ingredients. Yeah, I know the show. And then they're going to give you a certain time and you make something out of it. And that's your boy. Uh, uh, that ain't the... That ain't the guy with the, with the car, is it? What's his name? Oh, oh. Guy Fieri? Yeah, that he, guy. He, he has a, he has a, um, something like that. Something Bobby. like that. So, so who you, is this, Bobby Flay? Who is Chop? Chop, Chop this, uh, I can't, I can't, okay. I can't think of the people. Okay. But, um, 
So they chose ingredients. Let me tell you the ingredients that they chose for me. Oh, this is about to be funny. It's, it, I need to put one in there. He said he wants to. He said he wants to put an ingredient in there. Yeah, oh yeah. my goodness! And, and but here, but listen, y'all. They said that you're gonna be the taste tester. Okay. You and Dakota. Oh. Okay. So you go ahead and choose your ingredient. No, I ain't. He said no, I ain't. Because I was about to say fish oil and spinach. <laughs> <laughs> he said, because I was about to say fish oil and spinach. <laughs> and spinach. <laughs> let's see if you make something good with this. Let's see you hook this up. He said, I was about to say fish oil and spinach. But when I said he get ready to taste it, he said, no, I ain't. <laughs> no, I ain't oh, giving man. you no ingredients. So let me tell you the ingredients that they came up with. Mm -hmm. They came up with potatoes and cilantro. Potatoes and cilantro? Fish, fish sauce. Oh, okay. Sausage. Okay. And grapefruit. Oh, this is about to be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> he said, this is about to be horrible. That doesn't sound bad. And they chose you to be the taste that, tester. Now tell Michael what I do to him. He said, what did he do to y'all? What I do? He <laughs> said, what did he ever do to y'all? Always been cool with everybody what I do. He said, I've always been cool with everybody on here. What they do that to me for? He said, what they do that to me for? <laughs> so, oh, it's going down. It, they are laughing in the comments. Man, that is what I do. Okay, so it's going, oh, she, guess what sign you put? What? She put a toilet and toilet paper. A toilet and toilet paper? I know. That's what I'm saying. She put the emoji of a toilet I'm and toilet paper. With her. He said, I'm agreeing with I'm you, agreeing and that's what I'm saying. I'm agreeing with her. <laughs> So we'll see how this whole thing turns out. Do you still want to add the spinach and the fish no, oil? <laughs> yes, said, do you still want to add the spinach and the fish oil? He said, no, I'm good. <laughs> but here's the thing. Are you, they said, I didn't agree to this. <laughs> he said, oh, who's saying that? Ronald said, I didn't agree to any of this, Mr. Young. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I appreciate you, Ronald. He man. said, I appreciate you, Ronald. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I think you had something to do with me in. I, and I didn't. Um, he he said he think I, I was the one to put him in it. It wasn't even me. It was y'all. I, I thought I was having a good day today. <laughs> he said I thought I was having a good day today. Come in the fish and fish oil. And <laughs> Wait, Ron says I did it. <laughs> yeah. No, he's saying he did it. <laughs> That's sad, bro. That's so funny. He said, he said, Mr. Young ain't having it. But it should be a ton of fun. It, and that's not this Saturday, but the next Saturday. That's great. So we're going to do it. And they're going to give me a certain time to put together a meal. I can use ingredients out the cabinets mm -hmm. and stuff. And we'll see how it goes. And you guys get to taste it. Sounds like that needs sugar. Uh-huh. Uh, that needs some brown sugar or something in it. <laughs> strawberries or something. He said, something. he said it's going to need some strawberries and brown sugar or something in it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he said, <laughs> he said, he said he will be MIA. Man. Honey, are we going to be able to find you? I don't know. Man. <laughs> I'm going to try to make it. <laughs> if so, I don't, I have my representative here. <laughs> You. He said if he's not there, he'll have his representative Dakota here. And my representative go say, who's your representative? <laughs> That's sad. He said sardines between rice cakes. Oh, come on, see. <laughs> uh-uh. Sardines. Oh, she said, let me mark my calendar Ooh. for this one. She said, let me mark my calendar for this one. That's torture. <laughs> That's torture. Oh, man. So we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. It will be fun. Yes, but we're only expecting them to taste one spoon. Oh, dinner, yes. And I got fresh cornbread. Homemade. Everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. Oh, Dakota's eating. Look at that plate. Okay. I don't know y'all was doing it like that. So I hope you all had a great time today. It was so nice to see you all. It was great to talk to you. I know, and those sardines. So, <laughs> they said add the sardines. <laughs> he said, what is that going? <laughs> he said, 
they, what are they doing? I don't make the show go like that. Do they do that on the show? They do do that on the show. He said, I don't think the show goes like that. The, sh <laughs> the show is worse than that. Figure something out with sardines. Yeah, yeah. because they'll, tell, they'll say chocolate. They'll say pink feet and flour. Oh, come on. They will. <laughs> and they'll say pickle juice. Oh, yeah, now that's torture. And make some. They try to be funny. Yeah, they try to be funny. <laughs> he said, do they really do that on the show? Yeah, that's funny. Yes, they do. <laughs> Cotton candy. Oh, man. <laughs> Mix it with chicken. <laughs> uh, Erica, Erica said, yes, it goes down on that show. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Y'all enjoy watching that too. Uh, it's kind of fun, yeah. It's it's funny to see the people <laughs> sweat. I ain't getting dressed that day. I'm just coming on here. Put it together. I'm gonna put a hat on y'all and and prepare. Just prepare to hear the fan going in the background because I'm gonna be sweating bullets trying to figure out what I'm gonna make. But it, it should be fun though. <laughs> mm, yeah. I, gotta, I don't even know how, how you prepare your stomach for something like this. <laughs> I need to know how to prepare my stomach for something like that. Yeah. So you might, Dakota said laxatives. No. <laughs> That's what he just said, laxative. No. Is that the only way to Oh, Mildred, Mildred said pig feet and duck meat. Oh. <laughs> Ron said Pepto-Bismol. That sound like two animals don't even supposed to be around each other. He said that sound yeah. like, he, yeah. said, he said that sound like two animals that ain't even supposed to be around each other. <laughs> <laughs> make sure the bath. <laughs> he said, <laughs> "My holy king said, make sure the bathroom is close." Oh man, yeah, <laughs> definitely that. I agree with that. Okay, so Ron said you're gonna need Pepto, and Sonya said you're gonna need Gas X. What are y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. This is sounding violent. <laughs> this is. <laughs> Oh, yeah. guys. And I walked into it. He said, I walked right told into this. Told everybody hello. Next he, thing I know. He said, I told everybody hello. Next and, thing I know, I hear you're dead. And, like, and next thing I know, they talk about hurting me. <laughs> My Lanta. Man. <laughs> she said, talk about diarrhea. <laughs> man. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> and I'm talking about, this is going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Things off on me. And <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> no, we didn't do it. She want to torture us with them. Ooh. Uh, okay, okay. Them, okay, so Miss Karen is taking it easy on you. She says, okay, so you're just going to have to take one bite. Okay. And okay. judge if it's good or not. Yeah, there you go. Now, see, now, what's her, who's her name? Miss Karen. Miss Karen is reasonable. <laughs> She's definitely reasonable. <laughs> she, he said you're reasonable. She is. Now Christopher <laughs> says you're going to need a diaper. Stop. You're going to need a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to need a diaper. <laughs> uh, raw duck eggs. <laughs> I, I could probably find the raw duck eggs on Amazon. He said duck and pee. Raw duck eggs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should see their faces right there. Oh man. Does that exist? They're having a good time with us. So just wait until that day. We're gonna we're gonna have fun. It's gonna be fun, y'all. So I love you guys. I'm gonna get off of here. My husband's done doing the dishes. And I'm going to make his plate for him. I'm going to make him a nice plate. And then we're going to just relax for the rest of the night. Okay. We should break a record. <laughs> Have 911 on speed down. <laughs> oh, that's right. Go ahead. That's great. No, Ron. Right. No. It's like all y'all trying to split the insurance money. <laughs> he, said, he said it's like all y'all trying to split the insurance money. All of them. All of them get the piece of All of them get a piece of the insurance money. Oh, me and my son. Don't forget the air freshener. <laughs> yeah.
Whoa. <laughs> Margaret, Margaret said, what time is this live on Saturday? <laughs> now, Margaret, it's not going to be this Saturday. It will be the following Saturday, and it will still be at 4 o'clock, okay? I Margaret love definitely going to say, I'm pulling up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She gets ready to pull up. Baby. I know. Okay, oh, I'm, I'm going to get off of here, okay? I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Listen, come on in, bring me, give me a hug. Give me a hug, I ain't getting off of here without a big old hug. I love you guys so much. And tomorrow you get to see the carbonara recipe since the uh, file went corrupt. We couldn't find the file. So uh, we're gonna do carbonara. You're gonna love the recipe. And then you're gonna see another video on the Healthy Channel tomorrow. So that's extremely exciting. And what else? Look forward to Saturday. It's going to be a ton of fun. I love you. God bless. Thanks for coming in. Tell your family and friends what Jeannie Young is doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. God bless. Good night. <laughs> Not the insurance money. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I love y'all. Yes. Good night, guys. I'll see you. We'll have a lot of fun Saturday making margaritas and greens. Good night, guys. Yeah.